what's going on everybody it's dj welcome back to the channel and welcome to the elm creek supercut of episodes 21 through 30. this is a collection of the third set of 10 episodes in series also known as season three totaling over 30 hours of actual real life work on the map Watching the series episode by episode could be fun, but if you just want to binge watch the series in general, you've come to the right place. I've already dropped the super cut of episodes 1 through 10 and 11 through 20, so you could go and check out season 1 and season 2 super cuts if you haven't already. And if you've enjoyed this series, or maybe this is your first time seeing it, sit back and relax and enjoy the season 3 super cut from Elm Creek. So very first right off the bat today, we need to work on the BGA. Let's go get ourselves an auto load bell trailer we were using the tlx however at least at the time of recording this video the tlx phoenix isn't out yet so i can't technically use it <laughs> work it well so we're gonna get something from the rolling pack instead as part of the rolling pack we get a couple auto loaders and it makes work super super easy so let's jump in here and get one so let's go into tools then we want to go down into I think it's bell loaders right in through here. Yeah, something like this. And then we've got our trailers right here. We're going to go with this version just because I could back it up a little bit easier. And by that, I mean so much easier than the other one. And we could also pick out kind of what sides we want. I'm going to go with the straight sides. I think that'll look the coolest. Um, curved sides are fine, but not really what I'm trying to do here. So straight sides it is. Auto load. Yes, and I've got this on DJ Test Ham right now because I was doing a few things. We need to just DJ. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> DJ Ogama. Cool. All right. Well, DJ Ogama, it is. Why don't we go and buy one? Oh boy, I don't. I don't know where that delivered that. Found it. It's right over here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to reset this. There we go. Uh, store deliveries, reset, kaboom. Let's go ahead and reset that there. All right. Now we're back in business. One nice things about this trailer is it will pick up whatever bell you put in front of it. I don't think it'll pick up baby bells, but baby bells can also be belled up together, which makes things kind of easy. Well, yeah, and we're going to try and make some kind of, I don't know. I got to get that silage out of there. I really don't want to, though. Let's open up our help menu real quick to make sure we're doing things the right way. Let's go into operating position, and this should automatically boop them in as it is. Some solid boopage going on right now. Boop, 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 boop. Got them. All right. So now we have 28, le 28 bells right here. Let's bring it round, and we'll sit it right in front of the BGA. Right here. Now, it's going to take some of these, but it's not going to take all of them so we just want to kind of boop there you go right there i don't know if it's filling up yep so it's up to three hundred five thousand liters so that works fine for me why did this one fall over some major oopsie boopage going on <laughs> all right what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and get these stacked up there we go that will work fine for me cool let's do that one more again so at the very top, you see we've got reset. So let's do it like that. And then we'll go into operating position one more time. I think we could probably fit one more set of bells over there, at least for the next day or so. It does take a little while. It takes some time. I gotta be honest with you. It takes a little bit of time for the, or the uh, BGA to do its thing. I've gone in and I've modified it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it's supposed to have like a, I think a 10 million liter capacity I set it to and it's got like 350,000 liter capacity solid it's not allowing me to, to modify it any further so I don't know what to do I don't know what's going on but I do know that I just don't care anymore so there's that uh, one cool thing here is we can like raise it up super high but I can't bring it all the way down to the ground mega mega annoying Ooh, can i put it on the side no nah, i can't put it there all right whatever i'm just gonna drop it there and be done cool all right how many more bells we got over there too many sweet next on the list for today we need to add some water tanks over here so we've got the larger versions here but you guys were telling me that there's a water tank that you can actually add that will increase the capacity on these well i have gone through 
and I have found it. So it's going to be its silo extensions right down here at the end. Uh, holds an extra 5,000 liters of water, which is super mega cool. And you can see, of course, here at the bottom right hand corner, the supplementary water tank helps you to supply your greenhouses with water must be placed near the greenhouse. So water intake is still going to be there. However, the uh, silo here, if you want to call it that, uh, is going to increase the capacity for the water super high. So I'm going to put a couple over there and then I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put a couple over here as well. Hopefully it'll do them. I, it'll let me place it here, but it's not very close. So we'll put one there and we'll spin this around. Problem is we've got two, two things there. Oh yeah, the overhead. Check this out. Hey oh yeah. Guess that buddy. Put a couple like that and like so. So we got five, I think, on each. Is that correct? Five over there, five over here, which means we should be able to leave these for a little while without having any issues. Let's jump in. We've got our little two record. Ooh. Oh, that's. Huh. Cool. Not. <laughs> All right, this is probably going to take a little while, but I'm going to go through and dump around some of this water. Also, kind of curious to see if it's going to show or not. I don't know. Let's find out. So there's... Oh. Um... It's not letting me put any more in there. Do I need to do something with this? Mm, it's just giving me the option to open up the power tools. Uh, unless these are full. Are these full? <laughs> no way. Super way. Dude. Will you place these down? They're full. All right. All right. All right. I mean, well, okay. I think they're full. Man, I don't, I don't know what's going on right now. Let's double check here. This is probably the easiest way to do it. So we've got our um, everything going on here. Silo is coming out. Let's digest eight store. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's find our greenhouses. So right now we're doing strawberries, which is totally fine for me. And water's all the way up at 20,000 things of water each. I don't... I thought they were 20,000 liters of water each to begin with. Am I just not doing this right? I'm, I don't know. I'm going to figure this out. You know what? I really just don't have the care to even want to deal with that. So uh, how about we do something that I do want to do? And that's going to be soybean harvesting. So we've got our fit right here. Uh, we've got the ideal combine header here on the back. This is a modded uh, version. So you're not going to be able to find this on Mod Hub or anything like that. Trying to get me some directions all the way down there. This should be pretty quick and easy. I'm just gonna rock and roll. We're gonna run this thing. It's got a nice, nice big header on here. And I think we're in, yeah, field 68. So just down the road, I'm gonna take a shortcut down the edge and it's soybeans and they're about ready to go. So let's do it. Tell you what, I don't know what it is about the ideal combine, but I love this thing so much. It looks super good. I know it was, everybody was a huge fan of this in Farming Simulator 19. I'm so happy that it came back. Not only that it came back, but that we also got the big version of this now. The 10T, the 10T, baby! We had the 7, 8, 9 before, but not the 10. We had to wait on a couple monitors to make that. All right, soybeans, rock and roll. Let's do this, make sure, well, I was gonna say uh, straw swath enable, but I think the problem is it doesn't have a straw swath. So that's big of an issue. Yeah, the, uh, the swath is bringing itself back in there. So this is gonna be very simple, very straightforward, pretty darn easy as well. Uh, we're going about 11 miles an hour right now. I'm gonna use the real speed limit mod from, uh, uh, yep, Viper, Viper GTS, and we're gonna do real speed limit. So we're gonna engage that, and this will allow us to go up to 26 miles per hour, which is pretty cool. Hey, this is pretty loud as well, my headphones. I still got those old headphones still on. I need, really need to go get me a new set of headphones. Anybody got a uh, recommendation? Any ideas for some good headphones? Look for something that's gonna work well for me. Oh, I have crop destruction turned on, don't I? Sure do. Well, a couple bits of soybean aren't gonna hurt anybody. Let's get it rock and rolling. Let's get this done. As a matter of fact, I need to find me another job because this worker, 
they're going to do all this on their own. I know exactly what we're going to do, and we're going to have a great time doing it. But I wanted to show you real quick. You see, I ran two head lens down at the bottom, just kind of back and forth. And then now I'm running up the side, and I'm going to run one along the top. And then I'm going to run a helper on the other side and let them rock and roll and do their thing. Why am I doing that? Well, doing it this way kind of make what well, makes the field smaller. So if you're making the field smaller from the edges in, your workers are going to work a little better. I still hear daily people talking about problems with workers and things like that. Well, this is how you do it. You see here, especially with my worker going super fast, there's no way they could stop in time. They're going to run into those trees and then they're going to get stuck. Problem is, I have done that to them. I have set them up for failure. So what can you do? Well, simply set them up for success. That's going to be your best option there. So running through the top and then we're going to hire him down the other side. And I should not have to mess with this worker again until this field's done. By the way, we already got 10,000 liters in here. That's pretty sweet. We're going to make some good money off of these soybeans. So one thing people have asked me is why I haven't done animals yet. And as you know, during uh, the last farm build that we did, we put a little chicken area over here. But honestly, it was just to make the place a little bit more lively and kind of make it a little bit exciting around here. Had nothing, actually nothing to do with needing anything. Yes, we're getting, uh, getting ahead on a few things, but really I don't need that. What would be fun is if we had some pigs and if we had some cattle and if we had some sheep, uh, maybe some extra chickens as well. Having eggs is always nice, but having all of those other things to make it a little bit more lively. And there's an area on this map that I've been meaning to go to, meaning to do some stuff with. Actually, there's about two or three different areas around this map that I would love to do stuff with. So I want to bring you along right now to show you those two areas. This is the first, the top left-hand corner of Elm Creek. This gives us not only a bunch of different fields, but it also gives us a lot of land as well. We've even got a farmhouse up here. Granted, you can't do anything with it, but it can be sold, so that's nice. However, I'm playing on the first version of the game, so this uh, this version of the map was pulled from version, uh, what, one of the alpha release. So I don't think I can actually delete these buildings. I might be able to, but I don't think I can. This would be fun. However, there's one thing that's stopping me from using this area. It's not flat. It's going to be very difficult to run animals on this and actually to make a decent animal area, period, just because of the land itself and because it's not very flat. Of course, this stuff up here, pretty cool, and I could delete these houses. As a matter of fact, can I delete these buildings? Demolish? No, I cannot. So that would be something that I would need to uh, well, figure that out. So that's not gonna <laughs> that's not gonna work. So the first option would be all of this, not flat, but it is vast. This is the other area. Now this is much smaller. It's only top right hand corner, as you can see, only uh, taking up this much space versus all of this area right here. So it's taking up less space. However, one great thing about it is it is flat. We do have a nice little farm here, but. Uh, the farm is on some flatter area and some flatter terrain. And, you know, coming through here, we do have the highway down there. But I can go through and actually just kind of get some of this flattened out. So if I were to bring in our landscaping tool here and go to flattening, you know, I could easily come through. Well, if I could see here, I could easily come through, find the land here, and then just carry all the way out here to the road flatten all that out and make that the farm. I think that might be the way to go. It's not as big, but I think it's going to be more beneficial to us overall. So I guess the question is, what do you think? Which one of these should we take? We're not going to be doing anything with this area until the next episode, but I think this might be the area I want to go with. There are a couple other areas on here that have farm lands or something like it. You know, there's a small little area right in here. We do have our farmland in here, though there's not a whole lot of room for animals in there. And of course, we've got areas around here as well. But none of this is really farmland as much as it is just land. <laughs> of course, we do have this area down here, 6465. 
at 66.67. This area does offer quite a bit of uh, unique opportunities. Let's see, let's go ahead and jump in here and let him do his thing there and see if we can speed up our walking a little bit. So we could do some stuff around here. The problem is up here, not very flat in the area that is flat. What is this? Is that a water treatment plant? That's pretty sweet. All right, cool. Moving along, moving along. Yeah, so we could deal with down here, but not up top. This dude is killing it right now. Look at this. He's almost done, and I haven't even finished yapping yet. <laughs> hey, I'm cool with that. But I think at the end of the day, this area might be what we go with. It's going to be fun. If I do this area, I think I would want to just keep it to regular farming. You know, maybe make this area up here grass field, and then plow all this area together. That'd be pretty fun. I would have a good time doing that. You know, there is one other option, and it's actually close to our main farm. <laughs> oh, that's our farm over there. That's great. We could go this area right here. So this would be super easy to flatten out as well. Uh, maybe not this top field right here, but basically from this little road here all the way down and around, this whole field right here, this field right here, and all of these, can you imagine an animal farm that takes up this entire space right here? You know, forget the two farms up top. This might be it. And the cool thing is, I already own a farm down. I already own a field right here. Number 39. I own that. Oh, 43 is ready to go. Can I flip that? <laughs> Mine? Sweeping field is completed, at least while we're waiting. Uh, we need to double check. Is the train coming? The train is definitely coming. Let's see if we can get down in here. As a matter of fact, wouldn't it be cool if we got hit by the train? Yeah, I think so too. Let's find out what happens. Is that annoying or quit it? Let's get hit by the train! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> hey -o! Yay! Oh, we're going for a ride. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Drop me off. Drop me off. No, I'm coming. It's almost like he knew what he was doing. It was like, you know what? I got an idea. Let's push him into his own field and make him run over some of his crop. Wouldn't that be funny? LOL. It wasn't funny. <laughs> it was kind of funny. That was fun. I had a good time. I had a good time. All right, let's hit this field. And then I guess we're going to buy the rest of the fields in this little area. And we'll harvest the ones that we're not going to be running. And then the ones that we are will be fine. One thing, uh, there's a lot of rocks in here. Like, a ridiculous amount of rocks. I don't, I don't know what we're, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do with all that, but we definitely have to get all these rocks. I mean, look at this. There's rocks in here. Just harvesting this. Ugh. Yay. And then we're done. Yeah, got them. All right. But as you can see, there's, <laughs> there's rocks everywhere in this field. There's rocks everywhere in the field next to us as well. So we are definitely have to come through here. We may go ahead and hire those rock pickers just to get it done. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way to go. So we got 77,000 liters of soybeans off of both these fields. Not terrible. Something else we're going to have to do. If we're going to be getting cows, and a lot of them, and if we're going to be getting sheep, and if we're going to be getting pigs, we're going to need some more grass fields. I've got one right now, but I don't think it's going to be enough. By the way, we're going to mow that tomorrow. Uh, 71 and then 70, I think, are going to be my new grass field. So... 71 is a grass field already, and we've got enough money to buy it, but I'm not going to worry about it yet. We'll worry about that whenever we bug the uh, local government or whatever for like $5 million tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We haven't used the warrior in a while. Let's go with the warrior. Let's put this bad boy on a rock picker. I've only got one rock picker right now as well. We might buy a second one. We got two rollers, and <laughs> we've only got one rock picker. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, maybe that's something we'll do. This is a modified version, so we've got quite a bit going on with this. And we're going to let this kind of run, I guess, in the background. There's a lot going on over there. A lot more than just rock problems. So this might, might just run our thing for us. The reason I'm doing this 
in Farming Simulator 19, normally if you wanted to paint some grass, well, you'd paint or do whatever you need to do. The unfortunate part is Farming Simulator 22, I can't just paint over this. Uh, and I'll explain. So, so let's go in here. So we've bought that. So this right here, since there's rocks down, if I painted this, the rocks would still be there. If we come up here, for example, in this area right here, you can see I painted this, but rocks were down. And now there's even more than there were after the last update to the game. And they look terrible. And so I don't really want something that looks like um, chocolate chunks all over the ground. So therefore, I'm not going to worry about that. Where's my stupid tractor? That is why I've got to run a rock picker. And boy, oh boy, am I so happy about it. Bit of a problem. Uh, the rock picker didn't work at all. You can see I started driving through here, but the rocks are still there. So... I don't... I don't really know what's going on right now. <laughs> I told you I have problems. I just wasn't quite sure what those problems were. Uh, maybe this will get the job done. And it looks like this is getting the job done perfectly. So, uh, rolling it is, ladies and gentlemen. Rolling it is. It says it can't find a field. So whatever, I'm just going to go subsoil all this and then pick up rocks that way. That'll be the easiest thing for me to do. Run it five times over instead of just... Just the ones. This could have been so easy. So there's a couple different ways that we could do this. One would be to hit pause and go in that way and look around for the equipment. Another way would be to walk around and see the equipment like I'm doing right here. Or we could... Could you not right now? I'm trying to make a video. And then uh, the other way would be just to go into the store and sell off what we don't want. I think that might be the easiest way, at least for now. And then we'll kind of do a walk around and see what we've got left. So I know that I want to only keep a few tractors around. Um, these are cool and they're fun. And I like this little New Holland, so we might keep that one. Um, I don't, I don't need this. I don't need this case. I don't need this John Deere. Actually, I kind of want that John Deere. Uh, a couple other things over here. Both of these smaller John Deere. We haven't used those since the beginning of the series. We're on episode 22 now. We don't need those anymore. I like the Massey, but I just don't use it that often. Uh, I'm not getting rid of this Fent. That's my favorite tractor in the game. That's not going anywhere. And then we need to keep a powerful tractor. I'll probably keep this Fent just because it's massively powerful. And then there's a bunch of tools as well that we're just not using. For example, see these mowers that are coming into shot right now? I don't use these. Ever. And I'm probably not going to do any bailing either. So let's get to work and let's sell off this equipment. Cue the action music. Here we go. Hopefully I don't forget this. Oh, those are the vehicles that I own. Great. Uh, ooh, used. All right, we'll come back to the used vehicles here in just a minute. Uh, seating options. Uh, that might be one to definitely. We're here to sell. Bring it in, DJ. We're here to sell stuff. Let's go into owned items. Uh, I like... I like both of those. Let's let's keep them all. Uh, the cloth stuff, pretty much selling all the cloth stuff. John Deere, goodbye. Uh, we'll keep that Massey Ferguson for now. Big Saddle Track is gone. Case of Magnum, gone. Kloss is gone. John Deere, oh man. I really want to keep it just so that I can have uh, the planter. I think it works really well with the planter, but we definitely need to get rid of that. See, that brings us to how many tractors? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tractors, I think, is maybe too many. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe come back through there. Trucks, yeah, we don't need to do anything different with the trucks. Combines, I like having two combine harvesters. Works for me. Forge harvesters, we don't need that one anymore. Uh, let's keep going. Wheel loaders, I don't need a wheel loader anymore. Skid steers, when was the last time I used that? Cars, uh, I could probably get rid of the old pickup. I'm not going to yet, but probably could. Trailers, I need all of those, so those are good. Headers, fine. Corn heads, what is that, the 12? I don't even know where that is. We'll hang on to it for now. Definitely don't need the forage harvester anymore. Or header, stone picker, good. Subsoilers, good. Cedars, I don't need both of these. As a matter of fact, the uh, Solitaire 12, though that's awesome, um, it was only 12 meters. 
And I think we could probably go get the Amazon, the used one, and be totally good. As a matter of fact, should we do that now? Let's do that now. So this is the seating option version. Fertilization inactive. Let's go with the BKT tire. DJ Goham on the rear. Good with that. I'm good with that. Love when it buys stuff and I have no idea where it goes. We could go with an Anthem as well, but there's no reason to do that. So now that we've got the Cedar, so we could probably sell this Limkin and be totally good. I'm having a hard time getting rid of it right now. Okay, sell that. In planters, we got the big John Deere. Always good to have, but we don't do a lot with planters planting. So I think we get rid of that. And on top of that, let's get rid of the John Deere as well. Man, we're getting rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, as far as these guys right here, rollers. So rollers are all the way over here. Oh, I found it. That's pretty sweet. So we got our rollers in here. I did get rid of the New Holland, but I've still got the big vent. Well, this matches the big vent, so I'm just going to get rid of this. I could walk up to it and hit in, and we could sell it like that. So I knew exactly which roller it was that I was getting rid of. Now, fertilizer spreaders. I got two of these. I don't... I'm not sure where they are. I know where one of them is. It's right over there, but I didn't know that I had two of them. Well, it's got to be around here somewhere, right? Found it. Yeah, we don't need this anymore. I've already got one. I don't even know why I bought a second one. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Cool beans, cool beans. What's next? Mowers. So some of these are great, like the uh, Viking stuff. Those things are awesome. But some things like the Kong skill right here, they're pretty tough on your tractors. They're, they, they take a lot of work. Windrows. We don't need a windrow anymore. Uh, the rapid windrow right here. I'm actually going to modify this, so we're going to leave it around for now. Bailers. Uh, we're not making any more bales. I don't need either one of those. Speaking of not needing any of this. Ooh, we got the Arcusin right there. Got the round bale pickup. And got this. We'll have to go through. I think there's some actual bells on the Arcusin. We'll double check that. Animals, that's good. Levelers, don't need that anymore. Silo compactors. You see how many just stuff... Is it here that we weren't using, don't need, etc., etc.? Weights are going to be fun because I got to go around and find the tractors that those go with. And then let's see, we don't need the Bachman that's not an auto load anymore. Also, on top of that, we don't need the old pickup anymore because that was what pulled that. So now I think we're stuck with way less equipment than before. We've still got, I think, four or five tractors. I think we've got five tractors left. One's good for fertilizing, so that's great. Ah, here's our little, uh, these guys. So we'll come up, hit the letter N, get rid of that, and we'll do the same thing over here. So, a lot of fun getting to sell some stuff. I love it. Man, I love that little, uh, little New Holland as well. I might get rid of the Massey Ferguson. I feel like there's stuff that we could use the big vent tractor for where the Massey Ferguson would fit. That would bring us down to four tractors, Probably a little bit easier to manage at that point. Not sure. Anyway, I'm going to go around. We're going to get rid of all of these uh, extra weights hanging out. And then we'll try and bring all the equipment in together and consolidate it into one location. Nice. All right. So that's all completed. And I think I've come up with an idea. I love this New Holland a whole lot. But I love the Zader way way more this thing is so cool i love having like a tiny little tractor and the t6 is just a lot bigger so i think i'm gonna get rid of the t6 oh i don't know if that's a good idea or not let's leave it for now i don't know uh, a couple things here that we need to uh piddle with and i've also sold another of our belt trailers as well there was nothing going on with it so decided to get rid of it this is cloth colors that ain't going to work anymore. Let's come up here and let's customize. Yeah. So pickup system, we definitely want that wind rower on there. Design, uh, I think we could come in here and hit some gray. Uh, I like the Fent colors on there, so we'll go with that. Try gray here, see how that looks. Almost doesn't look good, does it? Yeah, it really doesn't look that great. Maybe we'll just go with the black here. Be done with it. You know what? That's not too bad. That's pretty good. I don't make it with gray lately, but yeah, who cares? <laughs> it's fine, whatever. All right, I like that. Let's go with that. Ooh, fresh color. Load it up, fold it in. Good. 
Good go. Actually, I think this holds uh, like a bajillion liters as well. So that's you know, nice to have that extra capacity. And I'm sure one of your next questions is going to be, DJ, you quite literally built this massive, massive farm for like a few pieces of equipment. You're absolutely right. I did it on purpose as well. Because all this stuff's awesome. I love having like these massive farm areas with like all the just ridiculous amounts of buildings. Why? Why would you have all that when you've got little equipment? Because it looks cool. It makes you feel like you're like in a bigger farm than you are. This was something that I did farm some 19 all the time. Except there, I didn't build any farms. Not usually anyway. I think I did the, the what was it? The Goham Co at first, but I didn't really do anything after that. Why did I not do anything after that? I didn't need to. All the farms were there. And I utilized, like, none of them. Real quick, uh, we should definitely cheat some seeds in. Yeah! <laughs> got them! Alright, so we got these. We got our mowers right here as well. The mowers are gonna have to go on a different area, though, because well, we got a lot going on with those mowers. I got a field that needs to be done today, and... We've got an entire new farm to build. There's one more thing that I want to do, and it is this bell trailer. Again, I love the auto stack, super cool, but now that we've got an auto loading bell trailer, what's the point in these anymore? Well, you guys know me. A, a lot of you will enjoy using this because it is a real piece of equipment, and you can use it. Oh, boy, that was fun. Oh, yikes. Hey, <laughs> nice. No crash counter plus one. This is a cool trailer. And if you're doing realistic stuff, well, this might be perfect for you. I don't do realism. I love magic. And my favorite magic trick is what the rolling pack does with the bales. So we're going to hang on to that one. Plus, I only need one trailer and does any bail. I love the fact that it works like that now in Farm Sim. Super cool. Super awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and take these bales. We're going to sell them off. And I'm going to take this trailer. We're going to sell it off. And that'll put us in the best place. Plus, I just bought a new mower as well. Oh, yeah. Got a modified version of one of the, uh, actually, the Chrome 450 in game. It's very cool there. All right. So, sold bells. Let's go back down into owned equipment. Let's go to our bell trailers right here. And we will sell that. Boom. Cool. So, now, what we need to do is we need to go down to our grass field with the new mower. Oh, yeah. Let's take the new mower down there. Let's get it started. We'll hit our headlands, and then we'll come back up here and get to work on the new field. By the way, I, or some new farm rather, I spent a ton of time, I think it was like two hours or something like that, on this field over here, and I just realized that I need to fast forward another day because we've got a harvest. What is that, September? When can we, what can we do soybeans? I think it's going to be another day or so, actually. I don't know if we're going to build this farm today. <laughs> Uh, I may have made a little bit of an oopsie. So, all of the fields around it, I subsoiled all of them, I picked up all the rocks, and I rolled them just so it wouldn't show up anything on the line or on the thing again. Now we've got the vent right here. You actually may recognize this from the thumbnail yesterday, or the last one. May have forgot to take a thumbnail. We got a whole field of soybeans right in front of us, and that's going to be worth a lot of money. So, I can't rip that up yet. We can't start creating our field or farm yet. At least not with that there. We could start creating all the way around, but I'm going to flatten all this area together, and I would love to be able to control all of it. So this episode may change just a little bit. All right. Here she is. This is the Cron Big M450 by Stevie. You got all kinds of really cool stuff in here. You even got some big engines, 647 horsepower. Not too bad at all. Uh, we've got a bunch of different colors for Maine and everything. They've even changed all the logos orange, which is pretty cool. Not what I would have gone for because it really limits your color palette at the end of the day. But whatever. It's got duels, so I don't care at all. Let's get this bad boy unfolded. It just looks chunky. So I painted the whole thing black. Uh, the main color is normal black, and the design color is onyx to kind of give it that matte-ish two-tone appearance. Let's go in. We'll double check and make sure that we are on swath dropping. That's going to make it a little bit easier later on to pick all this up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a couple headlands around this, and I'm going to hire the Fent 1050 on here to kind of get the rest of the work done while we go down to <laughs> that field that I just bought. That's another grass field. And we are going to take 
it over. Let's go ahead and drop this all the way down. I'm going to alt zero this as well so that it goes just way too fast. And uh, move along. Here we go. I think I might be able to get in this way and, and uh, maneuver in. So, <laughs> kind of. This is not bad. This is not bad at all. There we go. Pass-ish number one. Perfect. And I also love these because they work really well in going around tight corners. As you can see, they don't miss anything, nothing like that. Uh, there is, however, one drawback is when you hire a worker on the 450, it misses like two thirds of the swath at the very end. It goes all the way and then stops and the rear mowers come up wherever the front one is supposed to stop. Um, it was a problem in Farm Sim 19. It is continuing to be a problem in Farming Simulator 22. Not a fan of that problem or issue one bit. It is what it is, I guess, at the end of the day. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, we're going to run our head lens around here. We're going to run at least two, and then we'll hire up our mower guy to do everything. And we get to pick up some of this stuff in a cheaty way. Very cool. Making the final approach on here now. I'm going to try and tidy this up just a little bit there's that and i want to run kind of like one more here so let's go around towards the back and then we're going to hire our big vent it's got the uh, nice big mowers on there so it's going to do a great job on this Not only that it's going to do this in straight lines which will make it super easy to pick up later on let's come through and boop donezo let's go and turn that off at least for now we've got one more field that we need to do and I'm going to do the entire field actually with that mower. We'll see how happy I am about it. But uh, at least for now, it'll be okay. There's a couple different ways I could do this. So the last time, you guys tell me. The last time I went back and forth on this section. And then when I got down to this section, I went up and down. Now that seemed to work pretty well. But I'm kind of thinking with this section, maybe start it up and down. And so the whole thing would be in this direction. Though, we're going to have a few little bops here and bops there. But I could hire it once and let let the worker do everything. Mm, decisions, decisions. We're going for the long haul, baby! Let's do it! <laughs> Alright, hire the worker up. Do this, drop it down. Please don't miss some in the back. Of course you did, just like an idiot. For some reason, it thinks the mowers are way further back than they actually are. Uh, and the last time I did this, it actually did that on every single pass. Completely ruined it. The reason I started down here, it's actually gonna cut this field in half right here. I wanted it to at least be straight, but I wanted to make sure that it did this one area correctly. That way, man, no problems. All nice and easy for me. Plus, I can go up and down and be totally fine. I don't have to change directions twice. Come over here and babysit anything. I do still have to babysit this, but at least he's not going to be turning around so much. So, coming forward, let's see if he turns right. If he turns right, we'll let him go. If he turns left, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Okay, so he's turning right. He's going to do the small section over here first. Let him do his thing. I'm all for that. Go for it, baby! Let's go ahead and take our mower right here. Let's head down to our new field. I totally forgot that during one of the episodes I came down here and mowed this because I got bored. Um, it'll, You know, it'll be okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through. I'm going to mow this. We're going to take a little bit of time off on screen. So uh, some of the things that you see, maybe, hey, it's got some baby deer over there. Uh, it's awesome. Let's go through here. Here we go. Double check. Make sure speedy speeds are all working good. Yes, they are. All right. Party time, baby. Party time. We're not going to get as much grass off of this as I would have liked, but at least we're going to be getting some, and that's really what it all matters to. Plus, with all the animals we're about to have, we're going to keep all the grass we can get. So, we're going to have both of these fields, all, all the grass. All the grass is all going to get mowed up. We also may need to buy another one and plant some grass later on. Though I doubt we'll do any of that until maybe the end of the year. Maybe the beginning of next year. I think it's going to be uh, field 69 right across from us. So we'll figure all that out. But first, 
Let's get all of this mode. So this worker is doing so well, especially with it going fast. It's going straight through the end, but stopping almost immediately. This is working perfect. And the other one was not. So I bought another one. Yeah. <laughs> This one is a uh, white version. Actually, it's a cream color version. Let's go ahead and go to a swath drop. Um, I, uh, well, as you can see here, um, it came down and did not start well. So I figured let's use this. This is gonna be exactly what I want. It's gonna work perfectly. And I already had to go through and clean up after the uh, regular mowers. I'm not happy about that. So I'm gonna use this instead. This will be fine. It'll be fine. All right, the worker, be done. Yeah. And they will take off. Actually, they're going about 90 miles an hour. Let's let's free them up a little bit to go that full 32 miles an hour. And both these fields should get done fairly quickly, I think. Yep. Everybody's looking good. So let's swap over <coughs> to this. <coughs> man, I can't breathe. We're, we're doing good, man. We're doing good. I'm going to go through and I'm going to start picking up. Look at this guy flying through and then stops immediately. Oh, he's a, he's so cold. Yara. All right. Unfold here. I know we can get two. I don't think we can get three, but I know we can get two. Can we get three? We can. Well, at least right here we can. So rock it through. This ain't too bad at all. What do you guys think about that? Picking it all up, we've got 28,000 liters of grass in here already. This is going to make things a whole lot easier. Picking everything up super quickly, super, super quickly. I'm only going to pick up two through here so that we can actually come through and keep everything looking nice. But I'm going to pick up all of the grass. Matter of fact, we're already up to almost 60,000 liters of grass. And we're already 6% with this thing. I think it holds a million liters. Let's see if we can fill this thing up. Almost done with just the first headland of two passes, and we're already at 220,000 liters. Uh, 228, to be exact. Is it just me, or is grass way, way more dense in Farm Sim 22 than it was in 19? I did... I think a decent fair share of grass harvest in Farm Sim 19. Loved it, as a matter of fact. It was my favorite thing to do was mow. Yeah, 22? Uh, there's, I mean, look at this. We're 200, with things a quarter of the way full already. I barely feel like I've even started. This is great. We're going to get so much off of both of these. Just hope our animals don't take it all. And the end. Right there. 980. 4,000 liters. Oh, boy. So that's both fields as well. I've already picked up 71, so that's all done. And we've picked up 57 here as well. So done, done, and done again. And hey, we're done as well. All right, it's work time, baby. Let's get this rocking and rolling in the big Mac Pinnacle. I love this truck so much. Get a little spinny spin action going on, but that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. So, um, as you can tell, we've got a lot of stuff that I might have neglected. Uh, when I say we need to sell all the pallets, I, quite literally, I mean, there's... I mean, we probably got 100 pallets to pick up. Maybe more. Um, I'm not really... You can see it. It's just going to keep dropping some. I bet... Now, I don't know, but I bet we're probably going to have uh, <laughs> probably a hundred. <laughs> Very likely. Yeah, look at it. They're just popping out like it's uh, like it's a field day. I'm just going to sit here and wait for all these. Oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Yes, it is. And this is just strawberries. Yikes. So not bad on the strawberries. Only 19,000 liters. <laughs> 19,000 liters of strawberries. That's pretty, pretty wild and crazy. Let's go get these bad boys sold. Where are we taking them? Well, there's a couple places that we could go, but I don't think we're going to go to the first place. So let's click on here. Let's go down and find our beautiful strawberries. So normally we would take these to the bakery. However, 
We haven't really made what we need to make yet. We could cheat it, but we haven't made what we need to make there. We could also sell it at a few of these other places too. For example, at the Grocery Mart. Well, here, we'll get quite a bit of money for these. So let's go and tag the place while we're at it. Let's go and take a look at our bakery and see. Yeah, 6,000 liters of strawberries and it's full. And we got 19 here. That ain't gonna fly. Now this trailer would definitely hold a lot more pallets than this, but unfortunately, 19,000 liters of this weighs a whole bunch. You can see at the very bottom, 17.6 tons right now of weight. And only about nine tons of that is the truck and the trailer. So these are these are they're pretty daggum heavy. Yeah. Let's see if we can back into this and make this happen. I don't know if we're going to be able to back up into this and sell all of them. We may have to readjust. Let's wait for the money to start going. Money's going right now. So let's take it easy. Nice. Okay. 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 It's selling. It's selling. Uh, price or money's going up. Pretty quickly, we've already made, I think, around four or five grand, something like that. It's taking them, baby. It's taking them. All the pallets are slowly disappearing from the back. We'll keep backing it up. Oh, we're going to be just fine. Just fine, indeed. Let's see. What's our total price going to be? Well, we got $15,500. Uh, Unfortunately, it didn't sell these, and it needs to. It's taking them. Oh, that's great. Come on. Take the rest of it. So we'll probably make, I don't know, somewhere between eighteen and twenty thousand dollars total. Remember, fifteen uh da, 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 da. Oh. Well, it wasn't a whole lot for that little last part, was it? Not at all. Well, anyway, we've made a good little chunk of change right there. And that's just strawberries. That's kind of free money. I didn't do much for those. Just gave them water and water's free, baby. Yeah. Next is going to be the eggs. Now, we don't have a bunch of these, but we've got just enough to cause me a few little problems here. So I'm going to try and move some of these to the side. That'll work. Yeah. Totally. Exactly. Why do I keep trying to fly? <laughs> I'm not Superman. Am I? <laughs> Maybe. Let's open this up again. We need to make sure we are on Euro Palette. And slowly but surely, load up the eggs. We'll pull forward. I think we can pick all four of them up now. Yeah. All right. I think this is all the eggs that we've got. 7,800 liters. Not too bad. Let's take a look real quick and see. Actually, we could take these to the bakery. We need milk and we need sugar eventually. But... Oh, and butter as well. But we've got room for the eggs, so may as well take them over to the bakery. While we're here, let's go ahead and check on our bread as well while all the eggs... Well, I say sell. We're not really selling any of the eggs. We're just getting rid of them. Uh, bread's not full yet, so we've got 7,000 liters here. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, are these eggs going to go? Am I maxed out on eggs? Come on. Sure am. Okie dokie. Well, nothing will matter. We'll come through here. We'll pick these bread up as well. Should be able to get all of these. We'll go ahead and strap down what we got. Stack, stack. Oh, yeah. And by the way, empty pallets, they have the same collisions on them as everything else, which is kind of cool. Oh, is this full now? Uh, this is not letting me load these. I don't know why. Huh. Let's find out. Yep, not loading them in. It's not letting me do it. So let's go ahead and pick these up and put them on top. I don't know why that's not doing that. Usually it will, but sometimes uh, it has a little bit of fun. Strap them down. Yeah. From here, let's do a quick change up. I'm going to move a lot of this stuff over to our big trailer right here. So we'll come by right here and unload on the right. Sweet. That will work. Now we need to separate the bread from the eggs because the eggs are just gonna cause me problems. We're gonna try and sell these separately or at least load them separately. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. All right, well, here's a good thing. I know what I'm gonna do with the, uh, with the bread. And actually the eggs are being sold at the same place, which works great for me. Let's turn around help window because it helps a lot says we can load up 17 pallets, so uh, we should try and your pallet, 
tank. There we go. Though, interestingly, it's not loading them on. Huh. I don't know. Did I? What did I do? Did I break the game? Or just this trailer? Oh, well, let's figure it out and try it with this and see if this changes up anything. Uh, let's see. It says we could pick up 10 pallets. That's not really what I want. I do not want to be picking up those egg pallets. So let's see if we can push this stuff maybe over <laughs> a little bit. Actually, you know what? Even easier. Grab one of... Oh! Ended up flying. Just push these out of the way. Go, go, go. Push, 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 push. Go, 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 go. There we go. A little better. All right. So these are loading up fine. Huh. Yeah, it's just one's inside. That's weird. Ooh, I wonder if it's because these were created just now, but those other pallets were created like a couple weeks ago, something like that, it's before the game patch. Oh, would that be the reason why? So this is my last little effort right here is to come through. Hey, okay. It's loading them just fine. <laughs> and they should all be going from in here. Yep. Cool. All right. So the bread and the eggs all go into the same place. And so now all we got to do is turn back around and pick up all the eggs after we just shooed them off. Uh, a couple other things that we've got in here as well. So we've got our oils. We've got... <laughs> that, that's going to take a while. And yes, I also understand that I could be doing this at a better time of the year. I just don't care. Uh, I really don't care. <laughs> All right. Egg pallets are on. Let's go bread and let's go eggs. This is definitely one of my favorite places to sell. Just because I love coming all the way up here. There's so much stuff up here. And none of it's really good for <laughs> what we do. All right. Uh, now all we got to do is sell the bread and sell the eggs. And we'll be pretty good. Okay. Ooh, 78 grand for all that? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yo, money's going up like it's nothing. Like it's going out of style. It's 150 grand. Yo. That's 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 all right. That's all right. Me 100 or 200 or 2.169 nice million dollars. Oh yeah. Uh we got some more stuff as well. We may as well go ahead and pick up the cereal while we're at it, huh? This area is always fun to get in and out of. Not don't enjoy it whatsoever. So do going to stop. Nope. He's getting driven straight through. We're going back this up just about so. Not bad. Yeah, yeah. Looks like we got eight pallets right here. We'll go ahead and load all eight pallets up. And they all fit perfectly on the front. Nice. Okay, so there's eight there. I can't remember how many I've got back at the main farm. Haha, <laughs> get out of here, trash can. So where these are, this is going to be pretty interesting. So check this out. I've put them way over... Oh, I'm not going to be able to get them like I wanted to. Darn it. <laughs> well, let's open up the help menu and wait till it says we can start picking up some pallets. All right. So it says we've got six that we could pick up. Not bad. And there's one more right here. We're going to put that there. Can we pick it up? Boop. Got it. All right. Where's the cereal going? So let's find our cereal. And through here, I have no idea where the cereal is. I wish there was like some rhyme or reason to this, but what there is is not a rhyme or reason to it. All right, so there's one place to sell it as at the Gross I Mart, and it looks like we got 15,000 liters of it. So it should sell for a pretty decent price. And for those of you wondering about the uh, trailers that I've been using in this episode, all you got to do is go to my network and type in auto load pallet. And you'll find these. So you'll find exactly what you're looking for there. Go ahead and take that up. 100 grand in cereal. Is that what Kellogg feels like every day? That was awesome. All right. One last thing of pallets. It's going to be, well, we've got some fashion stuff there. We've also got all these. And we've got a few bits and pieces over here. Once we get all this, 
we're gonna take this stuff and go pick up all the other stuff that we've got as well as you may know we do have a clothing factory so we got to go up to clothing factory pick all that up and we've got to take all of that so the question is going to be can i back this in there also there's one pallet of eggs how did i forget a pallet of eggs you guys are supposed to tell me about this stuff you can't just let me leave pallets of eggs around this is a noob mistake nobody does that i guess i did that huh back it up boom let's double check and make sure this pallet of eggs is not going on first because it's not going to load properly boom all right slowly but surely oh, of course we got some of these randomized in between why would it be any different and we got a couple down here easy to do just throw them against the wall <laughs> gotta have some fun with it right there we go we got those boom 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 strap them down do one more double check make sure we're good we're good baby yeah and i guess pick up those eggs on the way out <laughs> Can we get out of here like this? Uh, it's gonna be a little difficult, but I think the answer is yes. Boop, got them. Nice. Last little bit, let's load them up. And I got a funny feeling it's gonna drop a few. Yeah. <laughs> the oils fill up pretty quickly. So this may drop a few extras here and there. Or it might be done. I guess it's done. So eight pallets it was. Hey, we got two more. Hang tight. Boop, boop. Got them. And back this up. Hopefully no more drop. Because that did take a minute. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it for just a second. I think it's done. Yeah, we're done. Now we need to figure out where in the world we're taking this stuff. So we've got sunflower oil. Best price is going to be red marble. Canola. Can't sell it at red marble. But I can sell it at uh, Grocer E Mart, which seems to be the best place to do it. Can we sell that here? Uh, we can, and we've got actually a better price for it there. Okay, so let's go back to Grocer E Mart and do that. We also have a clothing here. I'm not really sure where to sell that. Also, uh, if you've got, uh, what is that, 27,000 liters of liquid, be careful driving. This wants to tip real bad it really really wants to tip i may try and make it to whoa maybe not show you guys some more of my absolutely awesome backing up skills which i totally didn't accomplish this time around great whatever they're still gonna sell <laughs> might have to pull forward back up 38 times but it'll be fine we could do this Eggs are not support or, uh, sold here. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm still making a ton of money off of all of the oils, so that's cool. And it looks like our, um, yeah, looks like some of the other stuff sells here too. All right, let's see if we can get that sold. We did make, oh gosh, we made 200 grand off of all that? That's insane. Drop that there. Go ahead and let that take. All right. So we made a lot of money. I'm very aware that eggs are not... <laughs> you can tell me once I got it. Uh, that's pretty wild. We got a lot of money. Yo, we, get, we made almost half of my eggs. I get it. I get it. Nobody cares about your stupid eggs. We're can Who does care, though? Farmer's market, fast food restaurant. That's where we're going. Uh, the fast food restaurant's right in front of your main farm. It's super easy to sell stuff there. Just like so. Check this out. We'll pull right here. Sometimes you gotta get a little close. Sometimes it'll work if you're a little further away. Kaboom. Just like that. Learn eight bucks. Not bad. And then we're just gonna run all over this like it's 2 a.m. at Taco Bell and, and move along. All right. So that's all of the pallets, minus, of course, the clothing that I just remembered, which. I'm not going to do right now because I think I, you and myself have both had enough of pallets, at least for the time being. So let's put this away. Let's trade this for a couple combine harvesters. Oh yeah, a couple. Does this guy look familiar? I think it's been a couple episodes since we used it, but we're going to be using it today. And oh yeah, does this look familiar as well? Yeah, we're going to be using this one today too. We're actually going to start with this combine. What I need to do is I need to run a couple headlands. 
uh, top and bottom. That way it doesn't, you know, run into trees or, um, and forbid, a train. <laughs> I am going to run these at alt zero, so I am going to be using the real speed limit mod. Um, as we talked about, I think, what was it, a couple days ago? I was like, yeah, we're doing soybeans at 26 miles an hour. And it's fun. We yeah, ignore that. I may have driven through this field and forgot it was mine. I, you know, I won't talk about it if you don't talk about it. And, like, and if we both don't talk about it, it didn't happen, so we can just move on. Uh, this is not going to take this guy very long, which is great. Uh, plenty of soybeans, and we've got three, four, five smaller fields to do with the other combine, but I bet I could probably do the other combine about as short of a time as it takes to run this one as well. Should we find out? All right, setting this guy off now. Go, 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 go. Open it up. Turn it on. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. So we've got three fields here, plus I've got two smaller fields back there. Uh, looking at this as I am now, I don't think that I could do this. I think it's just going to take way too long to run all these fields that it takes to run the other one. But I'm also doing this myself, whereas we've got, oh, I don't know. You know, the guy doing his own thing. He's got to turn around and stuff. Workers can't turn around. Workers are stupid. Stupid workers. AI. Actual idiots. <laughs> Uh, the only problem is going to be me and my headland self. As you guys know, I like to run headlands around top and bottom, uh, running a nice square around the field, and then I like to go back and forth. And unfortunately, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here. And periodically, I will be checking up on the other worker as well. As a matter of fact, let's pull this up. So he is now down, turning around, making his second pass. And unfortunately, so are we. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? We'll see you guys whenever I finish these two fields, plus the one down there. Uh, hopefully we can finish before him. It's a race now, baby. Let's go. All right, almost done here if we pull up this. So the worker has now made four passes. Lee. So he's going down and back, down and back again. And the time that it's taken us to do those couple fields right there. Let's... uh. Let's poke over to him, just see what he's got. Okay, you know, not too bad, not too bad. We still stand a chance. And I'm gonna try as hard as I can to get this bad boy done. Uh, this is another one where I'm not really sure how in the world I'm gonna harvest these fields. I think I may just have to do like a headland style, like go all the way around the field with this one and then go up and down, up and down, up and down. I have been uh, alternating, so I'll go to one side and then the right side and the left side and then the right side. I've been doing it like that, man. You can see it right now. Here's a zoom in, absolutely zoom in. Love it though. That means we're gonna be getting this soybean harvest done about as quickly as you can uh, oh, snap your fingers. You should go ahead, try and snap your fingers. Okay, maybe it's gonna take a little bit longer than that. All right, another field almost done. We can see our guy over there, he's turning around, so we'll poke around. Uh, he got two more passes, and he's done. Guys, we're definitely getting whooped this time around. Oh, and I've missed some, too. You don't want to miss any. You miss some. That's extra money. Oh, is there some over there? I don't think so. Oh, boy. You know what? I think I should probably just go ahead and admit defeat and move on. Well, I think we're probably pretty close to losing right about now. I think our worker should be finishing up momentarily on the other one. We should see a notification anytime now saying that helper idiot has completed their task. And there it is. AI worker B has completed their task. Boo! <laughs> All right, well, it looks like helpers might be faster than regular humans. Can they get the work done and make it look better? Also, yes. With it all said and done, we actually got a pretty good amount. So off of the larger field, we got 38,000 liters of soybeans. Not too bad considering that, well, it's soybeans. <laughs> and it's also the last harvest on that field. A little sad, but it is what it is. 
in our other combine right here, we got 22,000. So we got a decent amount for both of these. Very, very good. Now let's uh, find our way around. Here we go. I need a tipper so we can put these in our silo. This is my favorite part right here. The double dump. I think both of these are on. They should work. Yeah, the double dump, baby! Let's go! Yeah! So there's 50,000 right there. Shouldn't be a whole lot back here in the back. Matter of fact, I think only one of them is running. Yeah, there you go. So 60,391 liters of soybeans. Nice! Uh, one thing, I totally forgot to sell the soybeans last year, I think it was. So, uh, well, we've got a lot going into this silo now. Uh, let's go ahead and dump these in here. There's something that want to please dump the soybeans. Thank you. Uh, there's one thing that I want to do. So if we go around over here to our main farm, we've still got a few of the, ex for the first buildings. Well, if we click this, you can see we've had this for 16 months, which is how long we've been playing this series. But inside of that is actually some crop and I want to get it out because I'm going to sell that and open up a little bit of room right around here. By the way, new farm looking fresh. I have been very tempted, very tempted to take this area, these two little fields and turn these into the anaform. But I'm convinced that doing a massive animal farm on all of this area is like the perfect thing to do. So I'm still stuck on that. Yet, I think for the third episode in a row, we might not have time. I should really lead with that from now on. In this silo, we've actually got quite a lot. So if we click on, we got about 100,000 liters of sunflowers with 77,000 liters of uh, soybeans. So one thing I'm gonna do is we might try and take some of these over to the oil mill. Now, if we take a look, you can see we do have some room for some sunflowers. Not a lot, but we do have some room for some. So first thing we're gonna do is take all of this over there and we're gonna do a nice little sunflower sale. The rest will then be delivered over to our other farm area. The big question here is how much is it gonna take? I'm gonna start with the back trailer just to try and unload. That one's not full anyway, so at least we know we've got 50,000 liters in the front. And it's going in. Should we poke around? Take a look. So it is taking some, which is great. You can see uh, it's not going to change much if you don't move, but you can actually just <laughs> go up and down and it'll automatically show you what's going on. So 145, 144,000 liters there. Not bad. So we actually only have... See, 57,000 liters. So we only have 7,000 liters in that back trailer. Not too shabby. Oh yeah, and if we don't harvest the grass like today in game, it is all gonna die. Should probably go ahead and harvest this. Maybe off screen. I don't think you guys wanna watch me harvest two days in a row. Oh yeah, real quick. Should we? Let's go, 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 go. That's kind of anticlimactic. There's really nothing in there. It's not deep at all. Makes it super fun to drive through. Last bit of soybeans are going in. And there you go. That's it. And that's everything that was in that silo. So let's go in and let's go ahead and delete the silo. Click it. We're getting $55,000. Let's go ahead and sell. Yep. Cool. So now we've got this nice open area. If you've never seen what it looks like being with the silo being sold before, there's nothing here. So it's like the grass looks perfect. The field looks great. The uh, gravel pathway looks just fine. It's kind of like it was never there, but now you can't unsee it. It kind of looks naked over there. It is what it is, I guess. Let's go dump this in the other silo. We should be about done at that point. So to start with, we've got to talk about what areas we're going to be using, how we're going to be doing it, and then what animals are going to go and maybe where they're going to go. So the easiest thing to do is to show you guys through the landscaping mode. What we're going to do is we'll go in here and we will select level. Then I'm going to start here because this is going to be kind of our entry into the farm, if you want to call it like that. And we're going to level from here or possibly from here, and we'll flatten out at least these two 
plus this one. Now we may extend out to here, but I kind of want to make this last field right in this area. I want to make that a grass field. That way paint, we've got grass for later on. I also want to make uh, maybe one of these a grass field to go through here. Maybe eventually we could do animals in all of these, but for right now, we're just going to do them in these two fields right here. Now, one thing that might cause a few issues is, as you can see, there's some undulating terrain through here. So this area here is much lower than the area way up here. So I'm going to try and get a nice level area and then go through and smooth it all out. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now that we got our handy dandy uh, <laughs> control menu here, let's go super, super big with it. And we'll go square and we'll go all the way hard flat with this. I'm just going to start right here. And there we go. So we'll take this area exactly right there. We're going to try and go all the way out to the edge of where these fields are. I don't want to go any further out, but I do want to get, you know, out to there at least. And of course, we can kind of get it here nice and easy. Around the outside is, I would say, probably the most important part to get right, because we're going to be going out pretty close to it. Another thing that's a little bit interesting and a little bit frustrating is, even on the max setting right here, it doesn't flatten out the entire thing, as you might be able to see in front of you right here. Part of that area is hide, some of it's not. Why is it like that? Just do the whole area. <laughs> That's why I'm here, home slice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nonetheless, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go through and flatten out this entire farming area. Things are going well so far. I've gotten a lot of this area done, as you can see, but I've still got plenty more to go. Everything in gray, we've done. I'm gonna be extending out to this field as well, and then I'm probably gonna leave the ones that are cultivated alone however this one right here i figure we'll go do with that and one thing that i have found as well is in order to get this completely flat like you used to you gotta keep your finger on the button and i've noticed that uh it, it didn't take me very long so in the middle everything that's kind of red that will work almost immediately as you can see but everything on the outside for whatever reason you have to sit here and hold it and it takes forever not a fan, not a fan at all, but it is what it is, and we'll move forward from it. Uh, so I'm going to try and get as close to the edge right here as I possibly can, because this is going to be where the animal farm is. It's going to be part of all of this, and we want to get as flat of a surface as possible. So if you're playing along at home, if you're making your own farm as well, make sure you've got a nice flat surface to play with. And then after you've got your nice flat surface to work with, then you can go in and smooth it out, make some nice hills, stuff like that. But this, doing it this way, will make it really, really easy. I promise you. Now that the fun and kind of most dangerous part is done, we've got everything nice and flat now. Now we get to figure out, well, what's going to go where? So I think what I'm going to do is for shot number one here, Let's go with a before, so definitely, definitely take a screenshot. There you go. Okay, now save the game super fast, and let's get in and let's start placing down some animal pens. Uh, like I said before, we want to do two of each, so two cow, two pig, two sheep, and two chicken. We could also put some bees and horses down, but I'm just not interested, at least right now. For cows, we could use this shed right here, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to use this shed right here. This one, eh, I, would, I don't know if I'd say it's a little bit easier to work with, but it's definitely a little bit easier for me to work with, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go with this one. We said we want to put down two. I kind of want to put down four. Uh, the, the interesting thing and the annoying, so annoying thing about this, they only hold 80. I understand this is realistic. I don't play realistic. I'm, you know, two games ago, we had unlimited cows. And then the last game we had limited to 500 and now they're like, oh yeah, you can only have 80. Please can I have a thousand? That's, that's all I really want. I could place down 10 of these, which by the way, you can only do 10 animal pens. And um, yeah, once you get past that, oof. <clears throat> so uh, how are we gonna do this? Do we wanna put maybe four kind of catty corner like? Actually, I think that might be a good idea. Yo, check this out. All right, all right, here's how I'm gonna do this. We'll put it like right here, just close enough 
to this area so that we can use this pathway, but not so bad the where we can't get around. <clears throat> There's one. I also also apologize. My uh, my throat. I've been having some interesting sinus uh, funsies, so that's what's going on there. Let's put another one right here that gives us plenty of room to go back and forth between the two. All right, all right, all right. That little Matthew McConaughey there for you. Then we'll flip this around, right? Just like so. We'll make sure it's straight-ish by utilizing another line that's in game. There we go. That will work. And then all we got to do is place it yeah, roughly about the same area, but just the other side. So like right about there-ish. That'll work. And then maybe one more. Right about ish. Boop. Not bad. I like that. That looks good. And that's going to give us a total of 360 cows. So that's pretty sweet as well. No, not 360. 300. Ma I'm not allowed to do math. So let's just move on from there. More animals. Little baby piggies. I think we should go with. Now, we got 270 pigs that we can run here. Uh, with 270 pigs, that's not too bad at all. And I'm actually thinking about maybe utilizing these this way. So put it like there and do like maybe one here, one here, and then maybe like another one here. <clears throat> uh, that's not what I meant to do there. Uh, another one. <laughs> Let me make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Uh, and then two like down here. That way we've got them all right in an order and we can just drive straight down through them. And uh, go like that. I think that might be the easiest thing, at least for me. We just drive straight down through there. We've got uh, access to the slurry and we've got access to food. Should be pretty easy. Maybe. Plus we can draw some like roads or something in between. I think that's a good idea. And, and you guys know me and my good ideas. Uh, so we'll line them up. Make it look nice and easy. Yes. <laughs> and again, I'm, I have no plan. You probably figured that out by now. But I have no plan as to how I want this to go. I'm just kind of going with the flow. And if I think it looks cool, then it looks cool. All right. So there's four places for pigs. Not too shabby. And we're still doing pretty good on money as well. Uh, don't pay attention to the fact that I may or may not have cheated money in. I won't tell if you won't tell. But if you tell, I swear I'll deny it. So there you go. Oh, man. Can we change the colors on these or no? Place item, tilt. We can't on this. I think we could have on the cattle, though. I might want to go back in and change the color on those to be red. Yeah, could have done red on the cows. Could we on the pigs as well? We could have, but it really doesn't show that much. Yeah, really, green ain't my thing. I'm just going to be for, for realsies for a minute. Um, let's zoom down in here. So the pigs are white. Yeah, the cows are, are green, which don't really match too well with the... Oh, man, they don't match at all. You know what? Green it is. I like green. So now all we gotta do is place down some areas for the little baby sheepies. Uh, <laughs> yeah, green is in, by the way. Uh, what I wanna do is maybe four, like two, three, four, straight down the line. Uh, we don't need to actually get into where the animals are themselves. So for something like this, this should be pretty simple to do. So like one there. And then kind of line up here, just like that. Two. But I like here. Three. And then four. Now we've still got a nice straight way through here where we can draw a road or something like that. Or maybe put some trees down. I'm definitely going to be putting trees down in between all of these. Now I did say I wanted to do something for chickens. Um, chickens might could be like on the back side, back here. So we'll take this, maybe flip it. Oh, that is, that's a cliff. That's exactly what that is. 
Ooh, we're gonna have to find somewhere to put this. I got it. The chickens will have their own little row down through here. I think that's gonna be the perfect idea. Also, I did replace the cows with red barns. It just looks better. Looks way better. I don't even know why they let them do it the other way in the first place. All right. So we'll do a couple of these. We'll go for a solid one there. Doing good with one so far. We'll go with a two here, a little bit further down. There we go. And then we'll go for three. Ka-chow. And then we'll go for here. We could go all the way straight down. We're gonna be getting a lot of eggs though. You know what? I think I wanna do it. Why not, right? Why not? Let's just go, go for broke. All right, I think that's about all we can fit down through there. So <clears throat> now we have four cattle pens, four pig pens, four sheep pens, and six, technically seven, chicken pens. Not bad. Not bad at all. Unfortunately, you can only place down one honeybee hive, so uh, honeybees are a little bit interesting. There's really no point to put anything down there. We could go with some horses, but horses get a ride and stuff, and... We're not really going to get anything from them. Horses, they, you have to actually do them to even profit a little bit. So I don't care too much about that. Now it's going to be a whole lot of painting and road creating and maybe some trees down. Stuff to make this look nice. We're also going to need to go through and uh, flatten a lot of this. So let's go back to here. We'll go ahead and take another screenshot just so we can kind of get an idea of what it looked like, and one more time, save your game. If you don't do that, <laughs> this is not gonna be fun. Now that a lot of our placeables are down, we could go through and build a little bit of a farm area. Maybe some places where we've got sheds or something like that. Really don't need that. We could do it. And by the way, this is not glitchy. I don't know what in the world's going on in OBS today. It's awful. There we go, not bad, not bad, not bad. So here's what we need to do. Because I know we're gonna put some trees down and probably not gonna do any placeables, at least for now, we might do like a shed or something over here. As a matter of fact, we could probably go ahead and look into that real quick. Uh, just a shed location, that's a little big. This, this one's about perfect, not too bad there. This would be a good one. We actually don't have this shed out yet. At least I don't think we do, do we? Yeah, we do have this one, we do have this one. These are definitely my favorite as well. So maybe we'll put down like one of these here and we'll have like a, an over, over around kind of building because we've got doors on every side of this. We could go with a nice red and just place it smack dab right in the middle. Boom, just like that. All right, now let's get into landscaping one more time. We need to go in here to soften because we want all this to look like it's supposed to look like this. So we want to go as hard as it'll go and usually about as big as it will go as well. Like in here. And then all of this terrain and all of this land will slowly mold into each other. So all of these, these big hills and stuff like that that we built where we flattened everything out. Well now, all you got to do is run through and it'll smooth it all out. So it makes it seem as if the land was like it all along. And your bushes will go down too. Don't get too close to your animal pens because you could run into some problems there. But as doing this, eh, it's not too bad. Let's go and bring this in just a little bit in size, maybe like here. And we'll come through the edge right here. Doing this is going to bring the side of our field in line with the side of the uh, little river area right here. So that's pretty nice. Going through here, we do have a placeable. As you can see, I did get a little close. So I'm gonna have to, oh boy. We're gonna have to build real quick. Uh, need to go small. Yeah, and we need to go not super powerful because I need this to overlap again. No, come on. Why is building so crappy in far some way? I'm so irritated. I tell you. My only complaint, my one and only complaint, build mode was awesome in Farm Sim 19. It was awesome. Everybody was used to it, it worked perfectly. 
And I don't know what happened after that. Something happened after that. All right, we'll just kind of go on and try not to get close to the bridges because obviously we have shown that we cannot be trusted near bridges. All right, now uh, let's see. Through there, don't really want to mess with this too much. There's the bridge, so let's stay nice and far away from that. And we'll continue to smooth out around, around the edges here. So you can see this. This is a step that a lot of people will skip just because they don't care if it looks smooth or not. They just want it to be functional. But one of the great things about a nice farm is the beauty of the farm. You definitely don't want to skip this step. So once you got everything flattened out and you know where your buildings are going to go, go back out and just kind of smooth out the area around it good for you. All right, so now we've got all of the smoothing done. Let's get some painting done. Let's go back in here. Let's go to landscaping and let's go to painting. A lot of this is going to be grass. Let's let's be totally real here. So we want to find our grassland, which is right there. And this is going to match up perfectly with the edge of everything, kind of like that. So we'll go out to about like that. And of course, we'll come back through and we'll paint right up to that as well. So Anything for the animals, that's cool. We'll get in there and we'll paint that. And we'll get up right about here. There you go. And we'll draw a little pathway there as well. So I'm just going to go through and we'll fill in all the blanks here with grass before we actually put down paintable grass. So it's starting to kind of look together. So all of the regular base grass is down. Now we go in, we save the game once again because I know me. I'm gonna mess it all up. <laughs> I don't want to either. Let's go down into plants now and we want to select meadow. Now the meadow is gonna give us, well, a meadow of grass. We're gonna get pretty close as well to the edge of some of this, uh, some of this area right here. So just be careful when you're doing this, but it's basically just meadow grass. And you can paint this however you want, wherever you want. Uh, this is the grass that's all around the map. I do recommend being uh, you know, semi-cautious with this. <laughs> you could paint grass just about anywhere you want. One of the great things is you could mow this as well. So paint it down and get it mowed. But it's not completely like the grass that's on the rest of the map. So, you know, just be wise where you're putting it down. As I'm coming through here, putting the final touches on all of the paintable grass, I want to remind you that don't, uh, don't worry about making this completely perfect. In the world of video games, perfection only works in, like, Minecraft. And that's about it. In Farming Simulator, and especially with games that are more natural and lifelike and realistic and, you know, more of a simulation of how the world actually is, with something like this, you can almost make it a little bit weird if it's not random. So don't be afraid to go and, you know... Make this a little random if you go over your line a little bit. Hey, don't worry. Or maybe, you know, overcorrect it. So don't be worrying. You can see I'm I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even trying to granted I'm filling in a lot of space right now. But you know, don't worry about trying to make this perfect. Just go through, fill in your blanks, get done what you need to do, and make it, you know, make it your own. Make it look cool. Make it neat and different and and you. Make it you. You're the only person that has to like this anyway. But enjoy yourself. This is one of the things that I love about farm building, especially Farming Simulator 22 has really opened it up with a lot of features. Now, granted, I know I said I like the, the build mode better and landscaping better in Farming Simulator 19, but the mode itself is actually laid out pretty simple, and we've got a lot more features. So take a look at them. Try a little bit. Try one thing, maybe something else. Stay in your comfort zone at first, and then really let yourself go loose. Ooh. No, 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 back. Let's get rid of that. That does not look good. We'll leave a little bit, why not? And really, the last thing that we need to do here is placing down some trees. That's really gonna make the area pop. It's gonna make it look the best that it possibly can. So, let's go in, let's find some trees. Let's go into landscaping, trees. And let's party. So which trees do you guys want to place down? We've got a bunch of areas like this that kind of need some big floofy kind of uh, tree. So maybe something kind of like this. I just realized we're placing down trees when it's completely dead outside. Perfect. Perfect timing to do exactly 
what we're doing right now. So thankful that I waited until just right now to place down trees of bushes. <laughs> this isn't going to look good at all yet, is it? This looks absolutely like garbage. Oh, I hate dead trees. What is it, December? Oh, we are we got a little bit of time. You know what? I'm just going to place down a bunch of trees that I think might look decent when they're alive. And we'll, we'll just kind of go from there, man. Ooh, yo, 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 yo. Super random. That is... That's what I'm going for here. A super random layout. Don't worry, I got my thumbnails. We're all good to go. So we spent a lot of money. We, even... <clears throat> we spent a lot of money is what we did. Let's go ahead and jump down here. And I guess now we need to... Oh, that's going to be bumpy. Uh, we need to buy the animals. So let's do that. I think we're just going to stick with a bunch of Holsteins. And uh, let's see. Let's go with a... Let's see, animals that are healthy and older than 18 months can reproduce. So we're actually not going to have them reproduce, which is interesting, I'm sure. But I just want them to hang on. Let me. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I absolutely hate the way that you buy animals and farm some. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Well, we got some animals, so uh, let's make our way around slowly but surely. Buy more. Let's go. Happy, happy, happy little animals everywhere. All of the animals have been purchased. All the chickens, the sheep, the pigs, and the cattle. Oh, yeah, as you can see, all of them right here. Uh, only slightly out of order. Uh, we, we've got some, some pigs. Some chickens, sheep, cattle, and then for some reason everything's a little bit of out of order down at the bottom. So here's what we need to do now. We gotta feed them. I have no idea how I'm gonna feed this many animals. All right, I think I got a good idea here. The only problem is I, I may have turned in at the wrong entrance and, and it's still not as bad. I mean, I think I'm getting like maybe 25 FPS just cause OBS sucks, but other than that, we're doing we're doing okay. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to close this out and reopen it. Come on, you're ruining my video, OBS. There we go. Not too bad. So, uh, uh, yeah, you guys can see what I'm seeing now, and you know it's not awful. I w I will give it that. It's not awful. Bad worse than <clears throat> way worse. Ooh, what is this for? I think this is milk, right? Yeah, that's for milk. Um, so I've had way worse, but you know forty. I'm used to 60 locked, so this is this is a bit interesting for me. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is go through and get some. Okay, so maybe forage mixing wasn't it? Maybe it's just forage in general. I thought it was forage mixing. Oh, so it's a forage is TMR. Okay, fair enough. So what I'm gonna do is we'll go through and. Oh, that's not gonna be good. Let's stop that from happening. I thought that emptied out straight out of the back. What happened was that was not it. That was not it at all. Let's try with something a little bit. Well, um, my speed. <laughs> hey, these little trailers right here. Also, uh, FPS, not terrible. It's it's not bad. Uh, better than I expected, especially for putting this many animal pens in one area. Uh, I do not recommend anyone do that. Ever. Don't. Just just do me a favor and don't do that. <laughs> but if you're going to, you may as well have fun with it and do it, do it well. Alright, so animal feed is filling up. And I think we're, we're looking pretty good. Yep. Okay, so we got our 60,000 liters of food. Uh, they still need straw, but other than that, they are good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to feed each one of these head of cattle. So there's the first one. We'll go ahead and open that up right there. We'll pull through and we'll feed these guys as well. And whenever we're done here, we will uh, we'll come around, do a little bit of... Straw running. Straw is going in next. Everything is looking good there. So it took 38,000 liters of straw. 
not too bad, not too bad at all, which means we can get through at least this next one. And one thing that I've been doing is I've been doing both trailers at once, basically doing a double dump for the head of cattle. So check this out. So we'll go ka -chung, ka -chung, and then we'll double dump just as such. Yara. All right. So once these guys are going to be done feeding the, uh, well, feeding the chickens are going to be super easy because it's just wheat. But we also need to feed the pigs, which is going to be pig food and straw, I believe. And then we've also got to feed the sheep, which is, well, fortunately for us, just grass. All right. Nice and easy part. Here we are with the pigs. Now, the pigs are going to take a little bit extra time to do everything. So I'm going to go back through here. We're going to go and fill this up back up with straw so that I can come through with the first bit. I think it goes in here. Yep. So I've actually never done pigs before up until just now. And you guys know me in Farm Sim 19. Rarely, rarely did pigs. Never, never. Uh, doing pigs with seasons was awful. I hated it. So I didn't do it because they didn't give me anything. And that's kind of the whole point doing pigs, at least for me. All right. So they are taking in the straw to a good. As a matter of fact, I could probably come through here with the larger trailer and be a little... Just ever so slightly better off. Oh yeah, what you know about this? What you know about the big old Mack truck? In fact, I saw one of these the other day. It's pretty cool. Made me happy. We'll pull back here, dump the straw out. This shouldn't take very long at all. Going back, going back, going back. Actually, it's taking a whole... It's taking a whole lot. A whole lot more than I thought it would. There we go, so there's that. We'll go ahead and fill up and we'll give them some pig food while we are here. Now. I am cheating this stuff in now, of course. I mean, it's kind of what I do. Uh, but later on down the road, I'm not going to be cheating this stuff in. I'm actually going to be going through making what the pigs need, making what the, uh, well, everybody, making what everybody needs. I think that's going to be the fun way to do it, to make sure that, you know, we have to either buy or do everything. But you know what? This first feeding, that's eh, on the house. I knew there was a sliding floor option to this. So if you go in and you select like tip back and then you've also got the uh, tip, oh goodness, what is it? Uh, tip grain door, we've also got, oh, there we go. Uh, no more capacity for gas, sweet, because I don't think, I, <laughs> I don't think it'll work. Um, yeah, it'll also do like a little sliding thing, which is super cool sliding floor. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing barely fits under here. I would never in a million years use this again because it's dangerous, baby. Uh, one thing is, on the uh, all the chickens, I can't feed them with this. It won't work. I put them too close together and I can't put the semi-truck in between. So, there we go. Yeah, there we are. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to have to go get, like, the smallest thing that I own just so I could get everything in here. Hang out, go with me, go with me. There, it's literally right over here. I use it for feeding the chickens all the time. It works perfect. And go ahead and uh, pull this over here, at least for now. We're going to turn that off. So it's right here. Yes, this. I'm going to have to use this. <laughs> but this trailer, for example, I'm actually not going to use this trailer because... There we go. We'll do a little savey save right there. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do it because we've got... Well, we got a modded version of this that, that I made. Yeah, and if you guys watched my How to Edit XML video, you'll have seen it. So make sure you go check that out if you haven't already. All right, let's so get rid of that. And then let's go back up here into trailers. And I think it's at the very, very end. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's over here at the very, very end. So, my did. Yeah! So, the big version right here, this holds 50,000 liters. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to go with this right here, which holds 25. Uh, no cover, and we'll do a black chassis color. DJ Go Ham. We'll go ahead and buy that. Should be right around here somewhere. Yep, there it is, right there. So, yeah, this will hold 50,000 liters, 25,000 liters. Hopefully, I coded it right, and it doesn't weigh anything hey i did it right so we've got basically the exact same trailer same everything i will say the fps has not been happy it's it's still trying as you can see at the top right 
57, 58, somewhere around there. We're doing okay. Oh boy. It is, it is something else. Oh, we gotta turn down here. So I am going to get the uh, chickens. We're gonna get them fed. We're gonna get them nice and happy. And I think we're gonna be pretty close to done at that point because we will have done everything that I needed to do. All right, let's get this party started. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take some uh, chicken areas and pig areas. Ooh, ooh, a little bit laggy. It's not too bad. Uh, as you can see, we're hitting pretty low. Now remember, I'm running 4K max setting. So it might be a little bit laggy around here, especially with 18 animal pins. By the way, I'm using a mod that allows me to have, I think it's up to 32 animal pins. So I had a lot of people ask it about that. That is why I'm on PC. I've got that mod installed. If you're on console, I think you can only run 10 or eight, something like that. So just a heads up. Let's set up these feed belts for the chickens and the pigs. So we're gonna be using a mod from DD Mod Passion. So we're gonna jump into silos. We're gonna be using these, the silo for chicken food and the silo for pig food. These hold 35,000 liters respectively. I think we need more than that to feed both of these, but eh, it'll be fine. We'll fill them up later on. We could also go with something from 82 Studio, which is right here. Now we could use this. I'm kind of back and forth about using it just because it's, it's for, you know, everything. Actually, you know what? This might be a little bit easier to run this than the other one. Mm, DJ's going back and forth in his head. Okay, we'll use this one. All right, you talked me into it. We need to set up the belts and we need to set up everything. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right. Uh, ADHD's taking over. Let me set this up as easy as possible and I'll show you what we're doing. First things first, let's get a belt. Let's go into belt systems and we're going to be using this one right here. This is the Grimmy TC816. We're just going to go ahead and buy one of those. Here it is. We can actually jump in and drive it, but I'm going to need the help window to actually see what's going on. So we've got it turned on. Let's see. Going forward goes this way. Sweet, sweet. And we need to set one end at the, d the drop point right here for the chickens. And then the other end is going to have to be where the silo is. The tough part about this is going to be is really long and really slow, goodness gracious. So I'm gonna have to set these up. Oh man, this is gonna be quite interesting. Now there's a couple other ones that we could go with as well. Uh, if you don't know in here, of course we've got this, which actually that might be the better option. As a matter of fact, I may sell what we got and get that one instead. We could also go with the uh, Meridian or Caveol, but I'm not sure if that's actually what we want to go with. Uh, let's, let's jump out of this and let's jump into this one. Let's take a look here. Boom. Go and turn it on. There we go. This one's a little bit easier, especially for me to control because I am very familiar with this one specifically. So let's bring it around. Man, these things are slow. Can we get a... <laughs> Can we get a Titan motor in this? I think it'll make things a whole lot easier. We may also need to delete that building completely because it is gonna get in the way big time. So with this being about right here, we'll raise it up just for, you know, about right there. Yep, that'll work. Let's go in real quick and delete the other belt system that we've got. So this one right here, let's go and get rid of that. So now we're set up like this. Now we gotta do is put a silo down and we're good to go. So let's do that. Uh, especially with these chickens. How much food have they been getting? Here's our chickens, 9,000. So we really don't need a whole lot for these guys. And I think maybe taking some of the uh, guesswork out of it might be easier for us. So let's go into silos. Let's get our chicken food right here and we'll try and turn it around. Plus the good thing about these silos is we can also buy it. So that's kind of nice. We can buy directly from the buying point. Oh boy, can we get it lined up? I'm trying to see. So we're looking for the uh, load trigger. We want to get that right there. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go here, refill the silo with 35,000 liters of wheat. Yes, please. We can go in here and you see we can hit left trigger to start filling. The only thing is, our chickens don't need any more food. So, we should be okay, I think. Oh, I'm not really sure. 
And we'll figure it out, won't we? So now the fun part's gonna be to buy some more. I think I've got six animal pins for uh, chickens. So there's four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we're gonna need one more. Let's get it. All right, the only thing is you can't tab into them. So yeah, be, be careful. You're not gonna be able to tab into these. Would be nice if we could though. I thought we could maybe in farms them 17 or 19 maybe. Maybe I'm thinking all wrong here. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, let's go and get all of these set up. We're going to be setting everything up exactly the same way. So, if you paid attention to the first one, next ones will be the same. I will say it is a beautiful sight seeing all of these set up here. <laughs> the lag is real though, man. Oh, that is not good at all. This is not a fun experience. <laughs> Whatever, we're, we're too far in now. Let's go ahead and set the rest of these up. Silo for chicken feed. Boom, right there. And remember, we're trying to line up that first little dot. And that's going to be what we're looking for there. A couple of these may intersect with trees, and I just don't care. I don't care at all. I've got it set up to where I could place anything anywhere. So I could put stuff like over trees or in the middle of stuff, whatever. And it'll be fine. Doesn't matter. Check this out. Yeah. Only thing is I got to go through here and buy chicken food for every single one of these that's that's definitely gonna get tired quick what the good thing is we could come through later on if we wanted to probably with an auger wagon would make it a little bit easier there we go uh and put chicken feed directly in these because as you can see we have a trailer tip here these also work as uh just regular silos pretty sweet huh okay so we've got the chicken set up now for the pigs and the pigs are going to be basically i identical to the chickens the pig you all right there bud <laughs> let's move on so here is the uh the, the trigger right here one of the things we have to be careful of is to stay out of the way of the uh the slurry think about the cows i would set this up for cows as well but the slurry and the milk thing are just in the way and i don't want to bother that plus we don't have silos that'll fill it up enough anyway without costing me a fortune so let's set this up here. Uh, let's see, what's gonna be the easiest way to do this? I think it's gonna be just to set the buy point there. Let's go into belt systems and we'll buy myself one. We'll reset this every time. Raise it up just a little bit and then we'll just drive it forward until the back end is right over this. Now, the unfortunate thing is I've already purchased uh, all of the feed that we need for these guys. So at least until tomorrow in game we're not actually gonna be able to tell if this works or not it worked in 19 and it worked in uh, 17 so it should work in 22 as well i guess we'll find out huh now we could go with the pig food like i said one thing i do want to check how much pig food do they have right now so they got 85,000 liters of pig food i'm not sure if what we've got set is good or not um, 35,000 liters for pig food. I'm going to have to refill that twice just to get them filled up. So for the piggies, at least for now, what I'm going to do is use 82 studios container. Uh, let's see. It is right about, I'll oh, keep going over it. Boom, right there. Let's take this. This is going to be able to buy anything, but pig food is what we need, but we also need straw as well. So we could at least buy pig food or straw from that point. So there you go. That's that. We'll jump into here. Hey, you can see we can select whatever we want. Um, pig food, straw, doesn't matter. We've got it all. Uh, and by straw, I mean not straw because evidently you can't buy straw from, well, the belt. The belt will not move straw. Just figure that out. Figure that out the hard way. Darn it. Setting up the last one now and we should be good. There it is. Okay. So as you can see, going through the uh, back, we've got all of those running, all four of them. Lastly, I just want to go in, we'll get the 82 Studio container, and we'll just go ahead and set that up. Boom, right there. And we'll do our landscaping later. I know it's kind of messing with the landscaping a little bit. Boom, right there. And then the last one. Boom. Cool. That's pretty sweet. I got to be honest with you. That's pretty awesome. It's a... Uh, well, it's going to cost money every time we do this, because that's going to stink a little bit. But it 
Hey, whatever. It's cool, man. It's cool. So that's for the chickens and the pigs. Now, we've got stuff for the sheep as well, but I've got to get a little bit more work done before we get the stuff done for them. Because as you can see here, I have started mowing. <laughs> Joy. Uh, the unfortunate thing is the grass is too short for the, um, well, for the mower to understand that it can actually mow it. So I've got to mow pretty much this entire field by myself for fun. And, uh, and then, and then only then. Dude. Ugh, I don't want to do this. I'll get it done quick. I just don't want to do it. Will somebody come and do this for me? Can I hire a worker? But like, what are you guys? That'd be great. Actually, I've had an idea that might make this a whole lot easier. Uh, let's set about right there, even though the store's across the road. Let's go up here and we need to get a square baler. The reason we need to get a square baler is because we're going to come through, we're going to load up uh, bales, and we're going to drop them in the animal area. And hopefully, it will take them. Uh, let's see. Do we have a modified square baler that's small and doesn't require a lot of ho whole lot of power? I think the cloth one right here might have to be the one we go with, but it requires 250 horsepower. It's quite a bit. It's quite a bit indeed. We could go with the baby baler. I could do that, but it's going to take uh, <laughs> an eternity, I guess, to pick them all up. Uh, let me get a uh, let me get a square baler. Let's see, 195, 230, 230. I guess we're going K brand on this one. BKT tires, DJ Goham there. We're gonna lease it. We'll jump it here. I think this has got the attachment on the back to work with this. Should probably not roll up on it, but there we go, we got that. And let's do the largest bell size. So 240 centimeter. We'll take this, turn around. Can't turn as good as I could before, Ed, but Hey, if this will work, I'm down with this. I don't care. So we'll go ahead and turn the uh, mower on. We'll turn on the baler. We've got everything unlocked. And we are making square grass bells. Now this, this is what I'm talking about right here. Yeah, man. Almost done working on the bells now. It's taking me a little bit of time, but cool. Got to talk to the mama. Oh yeah. So we've got a bunch of bells, a lot of big square bells. And these are going to be very useful to us. What we're going to do is we're going to take these bells and we're just going to put them in the feeding area of the sheep. And supposedly, these will automatically be used up as the sheep need because you can give the sheep grass bells. At least I've been told that. <laughs> Somebody may have been trolling me. We'll find out. We made a bunch of bells. Let's see. I know you can find out how many bells you made. Let's see, bells produced to date, 72. Not terrible. Let's go ahead and pop out that one. And you know, while we're at it, we may as well go ahead and, uh, to, oop, did I just make a uh, hay bale on accident? Nope, we got grass bell. Sweet, all right. So there you go, we got all our bales. Let's go and get this folded up. As far as this baler goes, we can go ahead and send this bad boy back home. We don't need that anymore and we don't need that big trailer either. Now, we gotta get all these bills to take care of. Let's use something that I'm very, very fond of. Let's go into our bell loaders and let's find our rolling pack. I like this one, I like this one. Choose whatever you like. We're gonna go with this one here. Let's go with the BKT. Uh, we don't need sides, so, uh, well, we'll do a straight side just in case. Auto load, yes, and we're going to Lease that. It should be pumped over there on the other side. Yes, it is. Now all we got to do is auto load selves. Auto load selves. Auto load ourselves some bells. There you go. I think this holds. What is it? Twenty eight, something like that. Uh, I know it's the number's definitely higher than it was Farming Simulator nineteen and seventeen, both comparably. I think it was in Farm Sim. Yikes! Uh, Farm Sim seventeen. I think we only had one auto loader. In nineteen, we had a bunch of auto loaders which was very nice it was really cool to see that um hopefully in 22 we see even more i know players will be very happy to see that uh think about these trails to get a little bit heavy these bells actually are real at farm sim <laughs> farm sim 22 these bells exist they're a little bit heavy all right 
Let's, oh boy. 25, 26, 27. One more, one more. Mm, got it. All right. And supposedly this is how you do this. And of course we're getting some nice laggersons right through here, about 50, uh, 50 FPS. Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. All right, line it up. We'll try and get about halfway on that trigger marker right there. Good. We'll set the auto or the unload, which will be about right. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't pop and drop it. And supposedly that will automatically feed our sheep for eternity, basically. Uh, that's a 2080 X, 28. I don't, I don't even know how large those bells were. So the bells are, well, it was a hundred and, I think it's 70, 80 some thousand liters total with all of them. <laughs> the sheep take 11,500 and I think that feeds them for well, about 10 days, something like that. Meaning that we just gave our sheep like Christmas day. <laughs> That's a whole lot. Only thing is I will say going through here, um, we may have a bit of a problem. See, we've got four sheep pens, right? Well, we've only got enough bells to fill up like two and a half of these trailers. So what I might do is I may go in and buy some of these bells, the larger ones, if I can. I don't know if I can, I'll just buy normal ones. And that way at least all of our sheep have the same amount of bells. Now, what I could do is go through and get like 18 or 19 bells picked up and just load that. So like got 13 here, just add like five more. But yeah, I just don't care. Yeah, give them a bunch. Go all the way or not at all, right? Yeah. One thing I'll give it to, whenever you use the spawn items, they stack pretty well. You're really gonna have to stack those things high for them to not <laughs> I can't believe that works. So this old 28, that's 10. So this should auto load them pretty quickly. Yep. That was, that was awesome. It is looking pretty cool in here, especially with all these grass bales just loaded, stacked right in front of these things. It does look pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and put another one right here. We'll go ahead and do our auto unload. Boom, right there, cool. Now all we need to do is get, well, 28 more. Cause those guys are feeling left out. And I don't want to leave out no sheep left behind. So let's, uh, let's do that. I'm gonna bring you guys along for this because I want to see how high this is gonna stack up. So here we go, 6,500 liter square bells. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha 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 ha! Got them stacked, baby, got them stacked. All right, so there's that. Let's do 10 more over here. There we go. Bell for grass. And then we've got our 65 hours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, one more, one more, one more. Let's do it again, except this time. Awesome. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We did it! Triple stack, baby! Triple stacker! I get excited. I'm not sorry. Uh, all right, let's get these loaded up. This should be pretty sweet. Let's see how fast we go through. Do, do, do. Oh. Uh. Help! <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we might have a bit of a problem. So, let's. <laughs> all right, let's bring this over here real quick, real quick. Let's go ahead and unload this. Then we'll be all done. That was funny. That was great, man. Uh, about right there. Is this good for you guys? It's good for you. It's good for me. We'll put it right here. Boop. Ta da. Now, the sheep are ready to go, the chickens are ready to go. The pigs are ready to go and the cows have gotten left out because they're difficult. Yeah. So the first thing that we need to do today is get some honey delivered. Now I've got a bunch over here and I haven't really thought much about it, but I've totally forgot to deliver any of this. So we've got all of this. And if we go in and we'll take a look at our cereal, uh, cereal meal right here, there's no honey. 
We're totally out, man. We have plenty of raisins, plenty of oats, plenty of corn, but no honey. So it's just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. So I'm going to back in the Bachman trailer right here. This is the auto load version. We've talked about this trailer before, and I know that you guys have been asking me, DJ, how? How do I get this trailer? Well, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you guys. If you want to get this, uh, it is for PC players, of course, but it is the latest version. It works with everything and it'll be just fine. And I need to keep this from going jiggada, jiggada, jiggada. It ain't happy, is it? What in the world? Why is it not happy? Uh, anyway, so if you guys are on PC and you want to use this, check the description. I'll try and leave it linked at the very top so that you can get exactly what you want. Please stop bouncing around. That'd be super cool. There we go. All right, let's jump in here and let's get this honey delivered. 6,400 liter. Ooh, uh, maybe <laughs> enable all wheel drive. Is that gonna help? She's bouncing for whatever reason. Ooh, I'm not comfortable. Hang on, I got an idea. Loosen it up. Nope. None of this is good. Well, let's run. Of course, two minutes in, there's already problems. Of course, there's already problems. Let's uh, let's see if we can alleviate some of these problems. So I've repurchased a trailer that I haven't used in a hot minute, nor can I pick this up for some reason. There we go. Got it. Uh, so this is a really neat little trailer. Uh, the Brimmer Transport Wagon. It's kind of a neat thing. Uh, back it up anything, of course, as you know, anything that's got not only steering axles but also axles located on the very rear of the vehicle uh quite difficult to manage but we're going to try and do it anyway let's go ahead and fold this down it's got to be a way to do it please <laughs> all right we're loaded on your belt whatever i don't even care uh let's go ahead and take this let's tip side to the right let's get it unloaded there you go get this out of the way so there's all of our honey see this drives normal i just I think maybe one layer, probably enough, but I don't want to run one layer. We need to run two. The more things we could run, this is a better. Obvious. I mean, come on, obviously. So we'll pull right here, get beside it. Uh, let's see, tip side left, look good, and they will auto load 16. So this should load these up nice and easy for us. Let's go ahead and lock down the top layer. There we go. So this is transporting much better much easier and uh well we've got a tractor with about a thousand times more power by a thousand times i don't i don't know how it has but anyway we're good 6400 liters of honey evidently this weighs a a lot wow 14.3 tons that's some heavy honey oh yeah and speaking of the production chains that we're going to be doing here to the left we got a big open field we're going to be putting everything there and we've got a field over here now, too. I'm not sure what we want to do with this field area. But I definitely know over there in the middle, that is where we're going to be starting our production chains. We may even move some production chains that we've got from other sides of the map. For example, we have a extra spinnery on the other side of the map. We've got our clothing factory on the other side of the map. And we have a great processing unit. We've got all of those on another farm. We could take those, delete them, and then repurchase them. I mean, we've got plenty of play money right now. I'm, eventually, we'll delete all that money, but not today. Not today. All right, let's run over a trash can and back it in. So this is... All right, we'll get it right about here. Unstack. Cool. So, honey now. We got our 6,000 liters in there, and it is back to working on our cereal again. Sweet! All right. You guys ready to build some stuff? The three things. What do we need? We need a grain mill, we need a bakery, and we need an oil mill. I think what I'm going to do is maybe create some type of road that goes straight across right here. That way we can keep everything nice and flattened out. But the very first thing is going to be the grain mill. I've got a bunch of extra grain. We need some more to put it. So let's get ourselves a new grain mill. We'll go into our build mode, we'll go into productions, go into factories, of course, right here, and then we need to find grain milled. Oh, here, oh, there it is, perfect. Uh, is this the same one that's on the other side of the map? I think it is, it looks kinda like it. I don't know, we'll go through. So there's a couple of these where you've got one or two of each, which is kinda nice. 
Spinnery, Lime Factory. Okay, so it's not any of that. Green Mill, right here it is. We'll double check and make sure exactly what we want. Okay, perfect. Good, good, good. We'll make sure that we line this up a little bit. So if you guys are curious about this, for some reason it doesn't tell you exactly what your angle is. Just kind of line up with like the side of something. You'll be good to go. So this, I think I'm just going to place this like right here. This will be just fine. Boom. Ta-da! Now, that is the green mill. Now, we need a bakery as well. And we do have this bakery right here, but I kind of like the one that's on this map. I think it's one of these right here. Yeah, this one right here, the bakery. So this is exactly the same one that's on this map. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it right beside it. We'll try and get everything lined up as best I can. Get it where the pallets all line up together. Uh, yes, we've got our tip point that's on the far right. So we will have to be careful about that. But for now, that will work there. And we need an oil mill right here. This one worked just fine. We'll maybe get this one eh, far enough away. <laughs> something like that. Maybe we could actually put it behind it. Something like that to where we could drive through and then build our oil mill behind it. I think that might work well for us. But right there, that'll give us plenty of room to drive around and do what we need to do. Awesome. Save your game, guys. Save your game. Don't be like me. Save your game. Now that we've got our game saved, let's go into landscaping. Let's go to painting. So we want to find what is down there. Okay, so that's that. And we'll just kind of get all of this lined up to where it matches. So we'll just kind of draw these, make them look good, make it all kind of look like it's supposed to be near each other. Something like that, that'll work. We'll go ahead and take a little bit of that, get that lined out perfect. Yeah, just about like this. This is, I tell you what, this is one of my favorite parts and, and has become one of my favorite parts of playing Farming Simulator 22. It's the build mode. I mean, obviously we have had a blast with the build mode. We've done the whole building over here. We've done all these farms and stuff. I'm having a good time, man. I don't even have enough stuff for all this. <laughs> Ooh, the game is laggy. Hang on. There we go. All fixed up. But <laughs> nonetheless, not like I said, I've been having a blast with the build mode. It's a lot of fun. Um, with a mouse and keyboard, it's great. With a controller, it is very not intuitive. I will give you guys that. I've had a lot of people complaining about it. Uh, I feel your pain. Trust me. Which is why using a mouse have to man have to i've tried using a mouse on the xbox it's just not working i've got it working on uh what is it like the edge browser software whatever so i've got mouse and keyboard working on that but i can't get it to work anywhere else for now i think this is fine maybe we could paint some extra grass in the front of this just to make it not seem so eh <laughs> is that the right word to use here eh let's see we'll cut through just like so. Yeah, this actually may be a good idea because we can do this, we can do the grass, we can make this seem not so just out here in the open. I'll go ahead and get that done real quick. One thing before I finish up painting this grass, I wanted to show you this. So a lot of people would go straight up and down this and if they go off left to right a little bit, may run into this problem. Start at an area like here on the left where it doesn't matter, it's gonna have to be painted anyway and just come into it real slowly and then get all the way to the edge, right where you want to be, just like that. That way, everything that you wanted to paint is painted. Everything that you didn't want to paint, well, you've stopped, so you're good to go. And also, uh, feel free to experiment with different sizes of painting tools as well. I like the small one here when I just want to like go back and forth real quick and paint, but you can also very easily use big, big square. Yeah, big square. Go and finish this off. Boom. Cool. So kind of, uh, kind of looks like it's supposed to look. I don't, I'm not really sure if this is exactly how it's supposed to look or not, but it's starting to look more like, oh, yeah, of course that's supposed to be over there. Why wouldn't it be? Kind of like that. Like it. Uh, here in the back, I haven't done anything. One simple fact, I don't know if I'm going to be putting more production chains down or not. I might be. I might not be. I don't know. I'm going to leave it open for now. Now that all of that is done, we need to come through here and we need to go and move stuff. So let's hit up our first uh, first silo right here. Ooh, slow it down. Um, Bit of a problem. You might be able to see here, it says wheat. 
Zero percent. Um, I built that because of this. 175,000 liters. Where? <laughs> Where do I have wheat in 175,000 liters? I got plenty of sunflowers, plenty of soybeans, so at least we've got that, so we can go ahead and take our sunflowers over, but evidently I've got a pile of wheat around here somewhere. <laughs> where? I don't, I don't know where it is. That's the whole reason that I built the oil mill, or the, uh, the grain mill. Where could it be? Where would our other silo be? I am the world's biggest idiot. I know exactly where the wheat silos are right here i have six of them that have thirty-five thousand liters of wheat each that's where the wheat is good job dj good job all right moving along as if nothing happened we'll cut through here we're gonna go ahead and dump all of the sunflower oil and once we dump that we need to come over here and make sure it's all turned on so this is the oil mill right here, sunflower oil. We want to activate it. I've had a couple people ask me, DJ, my, you know, this isn't working, that's not working. Usually it's not working because you haven't done this. You need to activate it. You can even activate things that are not running. For example, canola oil. We don't have any extra canola, but you know, hey, whatever, happens, happens. So there's that, and that's dumped in. This should be about done, and it is just completed. We'll go ahead and dump the last 7,000 liters in here. And we should start to see some sunflower oil be produced tomorrow in game. That's pretty sweet. So I just got an idea. And it's a bad idea, which means you know it's gonna be good. Check this out real quick. All right, so let's save this area. We want a belt. So let's find ourselves a belt system. Yep, that will be perfect. I'm gonna lease this because we're not gonna use it. I just wanna see if this works. Now we need to go into build mode. Oh, well, not yet. There you go. Let's, let's jump in this thing. We'll go here. I need to spin this around. Some of you may, uh, may see the genius of my idea, actually. I'm going to have to do less if I just utilize what I've already got. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. All right. So we'll take this over. I think this will dump into here. Maybe. We'll find out and see. Come on. Little faster. All right. That should dump into that. And then put this over here. <laughs> I'm a genius. There's that. Almost, I'm a, almost a genius. I'm really not good at positioning these things at all. Easy does it, DJ. Don't, don't get cocky. All right, right there. I think that's good. Good. Okay, help windows. We want to... Start filling. Wheat. <laughs> no, it's costing us money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that's working. That's working real nice. I'm a genius! I'm the smartest person at Farm Sim today, right now, in, in my own game. Don't, don't, uh, don't get ahead of me there. So, we should see... <laughs> oh yeah, we need to turn on this other bakery, too. Let's go ahead and turn on the bread. And then we got our grain mill here. Let's fill it up with wheat. Let's go ahead and activate. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna activate uh, all of the flour. It knows that it doesn't have any, so that's fine. But at least we'll have all this. We'll go and activate the canola oil as well. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, what do you what do you think? Is this stupid? Is this a good idea? This feels like a good idea. All right, I'm just gonna let that fill up. <laughs> I'm so good at this. <laughs> I'm the best cheater in the world. Let's go. So from here, the unfortunate part is, kid, that's awesome. But now we've got work to do. <laughs> like, we're back back working out the fields again. You're going to see the money continuing to go down at the top. We'll try and utilize as much of this money as we can, but... Oh, cheating. Cheating's what I do. We'll, we'll figure all that out. Uh, 
let's take all of the areas that we've got around. What we need to do is we need to fertilize. We're going to have to, uh, well, I guess fertilize and lime whatever needs to be done. Rock pick anything. <laughs> Yeet! Uh, and then we need to also figure out what else we need to do to the ground. Maybe we need to subsoil. Maybe we need to plow. I'm not sure exactly what we need to do. <laughs> These trailers are trying to get squirrely on me. First, we got to figure out which fields we've got and what we're going to be doing with it. So everything in blue we own, so we've got a lot. As far as grass fields go, 71 and 57. Let's take a look at these real quick. I am going to turn the grass on, and it looks like we're ready to harvest here on 71, though I'm not going to. And then, of course, we just harvested 57. Uh, you see 71 is fully fertilized. Uh, we need to roll 57, and we're also going to need to fertilize. Now, one thing about that that I know is we actually have a roller mod that'll work really good for this in grass care. So we go to grass care, we go here, well, we, we can use this. So I actually got like a modded John Deere pack where everything's John Deere. That's pretty sweet. Uh, we're going to go with this right here. Just a standard Dalbo roller. Uh, this will get our roll and we'll get our fertilizer state as well, which is really, really nice. Watching that money go down is hilarious. So I'm going to get two of those. Oh, no. They're over here, aren't they? They sure are. Hang on. Let's reset that real quick. You get to go home and you get to go home. Now we've got to find two tractors that are worthy. Where's my tractors? Helps if you just reset everything. <laughs> I mean, it, it does. It does help. All right, so check this out. We're going to hook up to one of these rollers. I am going to use the real speed limit mod because, man, does that make things super easy. We'll come through here. We'll go ahead and unfold the roller. And I want you to take a look at this because this is pretty sweet. I tried this the last time and it worked really well. I mean, we got a massive, massive amount of grass off of this field. We barely barely had one growth stage on there so we'll drop this down we'll go forward so this is going to do two things for us so it's going to roll as you can see here we go it's basically pushing all of the grass that's in there down flat and we're getting a fertilizing state so if we come around here well saying that we still need rolling Keep rolling, 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 rolling now. Yeah, totally ignore what I just said about rolling. Um, I think we're actually going to have to get like an actual roller in there. If I remember correctly, you have to do that as soon as you seed. You can't do it after it started growing. It just won't work. So I'm going to try something here. And if this works, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> and you guys can join me in this. Uh, this should fertilize just fine. And of course it does. So we're getting the same, exact same thing here. Nothing's rolling. So I'm just going to go through and fertilize this like a normal person. And we're going to forget rolling even was a thing. So we have a lot to do today. We've also got $7.3 million and that's about to go up because the very first thing we're doing today is selling fields. That's right. We're going to be selling some of the fields that we've got because we I don't think we need half the map. So first thing, we're going to get rid of 38. We could use this. Yes. Do we want it? No. We're also going to fill, uh, fill 36, 37. And this little one right here, fill 40. I'm not going to use it for anything. I'm just going to paint grass over it or something like that. So there you go. Those are our fields that we are selling. We're also going to reset our money to like 500 grand. I know we got 8.1 million right now. I think I cheated in 5 mil at some point but I've cheated in a lot of money. So uh, we're gonna have to subtract, I think what, 76 or 7.6 million. So let's just go over here and remove money. Minus seven, six million. I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. Cool, now we got 500 grand. That's really all we need to do what we wanna do on this farm anyway, even though there's a lot to do, eh, it's good. Let's go ahead and cut out some sound. And let's hit this field. Oh, yeah, by the way, we're going to uh, fertilize every single field that we've got. So if we come in here, easy thing to do, just like delete all of that. And you can see all of your fertilizer. So we're going to put one stage down on our big field up here. 
we are going to put a stage all in the fields around our main farm and we're going to put a stage over here on 68. At least for now, that's all we're going to need to do today as far as fertilizing goes. We also needed to lime 38, but I don't own that anymore, so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, all right. Let's just go and hit this. Fertilize all the things. Yeah. Well, we've already got one field done, and as you know, we've got problems. <laughs> so we've got the big field done, but I totally forgot I need to plow it. Now, I could turn off periodic plowing, and I wouldn't need it, but why not? <laughs> we haven't done any plowing yet. Everything we've done has been subsoiling, and we've got the perfect thing for it. Now, one thing I need to do is we need to repair all these guys. I don't think I've repaired my vehicles yet. And... And that might be a problem. Uh, ooh, 46 grand to repaint? <laughs> Not happening. Well, let's go ahead and repair that for whatever that cost. We'll pull this to the side and we'll grab our other fin as well. So there's one and we'll grab... By the way, people keep asking me, TJ, what's your favorite tractor in the game? This one. I like this one. This is my favorite. Also, I thought about changing the uh, Massey Ferguson up for the JCB. We used that in our little like one week challenge that lasted for three days. I really enjoyed it. But I don't know if I want to use it on this farm or not. I'm kind of back and forth because I feel like if I use that too much, you guys might get a little upset with me using it on every single thing. So, oh yeah, I got this too. It's kind of neat. Uh, we might use this later on. I'm not sure. Hopefully Blue Ogden Mod and get theirs in the game. That'd be pretty awesome. Let's go down. I want to see the tractors that we've got. So owned items, goodness gracious. At least it fits on one page now. Um, let's see. We've got on here 517 horsepower and then 296 in the 930. I might want to bump the power up a little bit. Only having that much power in here. I think our Massey's got more power than that does. Let's go over here. Let's customize it. Big engine. Yeah, that, that pops us up to 415 horsepower. I think that's where we need to be. There we go. Yeah. Now we got some power. Okay, now that we have power, we need to get some plews or some plows. Let's go through here. Let's find ourselves some goodies. The 6 and 9 MT. Of course, we're going with the 9 MT. Uh, we're going to get two of these. We're going to lease them. We're not going to buy them. We're just going to lease them. So the first one, let's see. We're going all black with the Fent red design color. Looking good there, that's for our black one. And then we'll go with the Fent green here. Natural John Deere. Man, I know, I wish it just said Fent green and then the older Fent green. That's what it used to be. It was so much easier to deal with back then. All right, so now we've got both of our plus over here. We're gonna get these, we're gonna put them on the other field. Now that, is a setup right there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. So here's what I want to do. I think I'm going to run the uh, the black one. And then I'm going to set off our green bad boy right here. Of course, I turned it off. I'm going to set this bad boy off on a worker. Um, now, here is the thing. The first thing I need to do is make sure that I run a bit of a headland for this. Because this guy ain't going to be very happy otherwise. Also, these fly. I want to go in. I want to make sure that we're running. Yep, like that. And you probably see that my, my plow's turned around. Yeah, it's... <laughs> so it works way better this way. Hang on. Check this out. All right, we'll unfold. We'll make sure that we are set. There we go. Speed is set. I'm going to come down here to where this tractor is. And this is where I'm going to start. Because I'm going to hire him as soon as I take off. I'm going to hire him on the next set. And then we will take over this tractor. So... We can go faster with it turned around like this. Well, maybe not faster, but it takes like zero effort whatsoever to run this. It's really, really nice. Look at this. No effort whatsoever. It's it's really nice. But I still got way too much stuff, though. <laughs> All right. We'll pull this bad boy around. We'll set him. Well, <clears throat> missing a little bit, but that's okay. Set him about right there-ish. Up there, yeah, that'll work. Okay, jump in here. Go ahead and oh, tools attached it correctly. <laughs> All right, well, that's not gonna work great for us, is it? Can I turn myself into Superman? Yes, I can. All right, so it looks like to hire a worker, you gotta have these turned around the right way. I don't like that. 
<laughs> but I guess it is what it is. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, back out of it. Go back over here. Attach. Cool. Now we could do that. Hire him up and go, 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 go. Ooh, he's about to catch us. He's about to catch us. Oh, we going. Yeah, we're going and we're going faster because when you've got a turtle around like this, there is zero uh, pull on the ground itself. So I could go just about as fast as I want to with the plow turned around like this. It requires zero horsepower. So you guys, you can run this massive plow. Now it's going to be heavy. Don't forget about that part. It's going to be heavy, but you could still run this just fine. Let's see if the worker goes into the bushes. Almost. He almost did it. <laughs> All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run around this field probably twice. And then uh, I'm going to hire both of these guys on separate parts of the field. And we should be good to get back to everything. Also, we should probably double check and make sure. It says needs plowing. Doesn't need plow anymore. Sweet. Now that our plowing guys are doing their thing, we've just got a few more things that we need to do here. The great thing is most of these fields... You could do it one pass with this. Um, I can't remember exactly who made this. I think it was maybe um, UFS or something like that. This is the small little Cavernland uh, fertilizer spreader. I'm not really sure which one it is, actually. We could probably take a look just so you guys can see it and you'll know exactly what I'm using. Now, I've modified the heck out of this. So, yeah, it's a Cavernland Exacta EL, but it's the modded version. I've made that. Uh, holds 100,000 liters, which is nice. Makes stuff really easy for me trying to get stuff done. Also, goes super fast. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, we're kind of on board right now. We're a little bit further behind where I wanted to be, but we're doing okay. We're doing, we're doing, uh, we're doing a okay. Also, someone had the idea of moving the honey palette to another area. I want to try this. So, this right here is my honey spawning area right well what if i demolish this right see the great thing is with honey you could put this literally anywhere you could see no pallet location available for the beehives because they're trying to do stuff well if i head over to the only place that i'm taking honey that's going to be over the cereal factory if i place this there now most people can't do this but i've got a mod that allows me to place whatever i want wherever i want and a burp counter plus one. Shout out to G Fuel for the burp counter today. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, if we put the B counter here, all right? B counter. Uh, if we put this here, right? What it will do is every time it spawns a pallet, it sells it. Just like that. So now... Oh, yeah. They're, they're doing quick work. They're missing some spots, but they're doing quick work. So now if we come over here... The, the honey pallets will spawn and they immediately sell in. So I never have to move honey pallets ever again. Quite a few of you guys have suggested that I do that, but I was like, well, will it actually work? The answer is yes. Yes, it will. And, uh, and I'm going to get back to work myself and uh, get some of this fertilizing done. We've only got a few more fields to do, so this should not take very long. Every field is now fertilized and the field is now plowed. We've got three tractors that have to make their way back to the main farm. And this is one of the things that I love about Farming Simulator 22, things that make it really easy. I'm driving a tractor and then in front of us, well, I've got the hiccups too, so <laughs> you can ignore that. I've got two tractors here, two, uh, to be fair, complete, absolute idiots. God, you guys suck. What is he doing? He's a drunken monkey. Get on the road. <laughs> uh, that, I'm really glad I was recording that bit because that was terrible. Uh, I wanted them to drive over, back over here to the farm closely. Uh, turns out... Oh, is he... Just get on the road, you stupid idiot. He's just going left to right, left to right, left to right. I don't know which way to go. Oy. I'm just going to go park this up. But I wanted to get them all over here because it would definitely make things a whole lot easier. Now, we're going to have to be skipping about three months in-game. 
So we're going to be going from... You're, you're fired, man. You're fired. Uh, we're going to be going from December all the way through March. Now, I don't know how much exactly we're going to be able to get done today because we've got a lot to do still. We've still got to do a bit of fertilizing. We've still got to put everything into the, cr or into the ground. And we've even got to pick up all the pallets. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to save every pallet that we collect. I'm going to save it all. And we're going to put it in like the middle of a field or something. And I just want to show you guys how much, how many pallets. Well, I guess we're not going to be getting uh, <laughs> rip the eggs, uh, but, or honey rather. Uh, but every pallet, we'll just like throw it over here in the middle of a field or something. Just so we can get out of here, birds. My video. All right. Uh, we should definitely fast forward time. Let's do it. Welcome to January and welcome to a beautiful winter wonderland. Oh, I love it. I totally forgot. We actually have to come through and feed all of our animals like daily. So uh, let's do that. Let's find ourselves something. I'm probably going to take the semi truck here because I got a bunch of pallets to pick up. So let's go and do this. I've got it in all wheel drive already. I want to make sure that we've got our, uh, see, liquid tank to Euro pallet. Cool. There we go. And we're just going to come through and pick up all of the pallets. Every single pallet that we possibly can, we're going to pick them up. Also, getting in and out of here is going to be a lot of fun. And these wheels, I'm not sure how well this is going to perform in the snow, but you guys are going to go along with me because the snow is definitely my favorite time of the year in Farm Sim. It's beautiful absolutely beautiful it's a lot of fun and it's oh it's just incredible i love it let's go through here let's go ahead and get some wool uh actually you know what we could probably leave these for a while and these wool pallets they are not uh not good enough to pick up however we do have some chicken uh egg egg right meow so we could do this there we go there's one let's go ahead and jump in please let me jump in tell you what this is <laughs> It takes you a little while to get everything figured out. There's one. And yeah, we'll do the same thing over here. Please. There we go. I don't know what's going on exactly, but you have to like back out of the trigger marker for picking stuff up. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I had a couple people talking about the uh, grass here and asking, will this work? Well, short answer is absolutely yes. Take a look at this. They are full of everything. But if we go to our chickens, for example, well, they need stuff. So this grass idea, that is working, and it's working really, really well. Eggs not accepted here. I think we're aware, home slice. <laughs> I think we get it. All right, moving forward, let's go ahead. I'm going to pick up the rest of these eggs, and then we're going to go through, and we're going to feed all of the animals. And, and yes, my FPS is... Pretty rough. The one thing I did forget about it was all of this stuff, too. <laughs> every pallet, man. Every pallet. I said it. We're going to pick up every pallet. And man, oh, man. Was I not ready? Oh, wait. This is flour. Flour's supposed to... Uh-oh. We got a problem. We got a big problem. Uh, do, 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 do. Not storing. No, it's supposed to be distributing. You idiot. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I guess... I guess, well, there is a, a positive here. And this is the positive. Please, can I have that? Thank you. <laughs> it's right here beside it. So, uh, there there are worse things. There are many, many worse things. Going with a big brain move right here. I'm pushing one pallet and making them all go, yeah. <laughs> Super big brain stuff going on right there. All right. So now we've got some stuff in there. That should start producing some goodies for us. We've got, uh, let's see, bread picked up. We've also got some eggs picked up. And we've got some oils picked up. Before we get to feeding the animals, we need to go pick up literally everything else around the rest of the stuff. So uh, clothing, I'm not really going to bother with that too much because we don't get a whole lot of that to begin with. So I'm not going to waste my time with that. We do have a bunch of oils and stuff to pick up. <laughs> we sliding, boys. Uh, we do have a bunch of oils and bread to pick up in our other areas. So let's go and do that now. First stop, photo of bread. Choo choo. <laughs> I won't do that again. I think we got a couple over here. Yeah, not too much, but we got a couple. Boop, boop. Got them. I don't think we can get out this way. I will try. Crash counter plus one. Rip. 
I thought it was going to be the trailer that caused the issues. Turns out, everything's totally fine. There we go. Did it sell any of the eggs? I didn't see any of the eggs disappearing. The eggs do sell back there, but I think it's full right now. We did set it up for doing cake, but I never made any. I don't have any of the butter or sugar or anything like that. I could cheat it in. It'd be super easy to do, but uh, barely an inconvenience. We'll see if anybody gets that reference. Nonetheless. All right, let's pick these up. Kaboom, kaboom, got them, got them, good to go. All right, let's head back to the main farm because I got a funny feeling we're gonna have a whole bunch of strawberries waiting on us. And I was correct. So I'm not sure if those are strawberries or tomatoes. We'll figure it out. Here, let's make a nice big wide turn right here. Oh yeah, there's the pressure washer that I've never used. What's up? <laughs> uh, these look like strawberries and they are cool. All right, let's pick them up. Boop, boop, boop. Picking them up, picking strawberries. Nice, nice. Come over here, get a couple more while we're at it, you know. There we go. All right. So we're not full, but that's all of the pallets that we needed to pick up at least for today in game. So very nice there. Ooh, <laughs> it's heavy. 17.6 tons altogether. Not bad. We'll leave that sitting there. Let's do a little quick run over here. And now we get to actually see does our animal feeding work? And is it going to be profitable? Because, well, that's going to be a big key as well. So let's turn it on. I think. Yep, the engine's on. Let's... No, we don't need to unfold. <laughs> Gotta love it. Unload here. Okay. But it's not letting me start to fill. It's not allowing me to push the button. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Huh. I worry that the silos that we originally picked out are not going to work for the chickens because if I come over here, we've got an autofill for the pig food. Well, if I go over and we select pig food, so it's buying the pig food. It is quite expensive, but it is also feeding the pig. You can see food is going up. So... Has me worrying a little bit. So now the pig food is completely full on that specific pig area. Now let's see here. Let's find the one that's got the food all the way up. So here's our four pigs. Base food, total effectiveness, da 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 da. Huh. Interestingly, only one of them's a little bit higher, but it's not all the way. So I may have to sit here and babysit this for a little while oh yeah there we go okay so now we've got it running and that'll run until it's empty let me show you that again because that was a little bit interesting as soon as it stopped i had to restart it again so here we go oh i don't know what that is um was that pig food i don't Maybe. <laughs> I didn't think that looked like pig food, but okay. Well, it's taken it, so whatever. So you could see where it stopped right there at the very edge, and then I just restarted it again. We'll show you because we got, well, two more to go. Uh, so if you're doing this like I'm doing this, use the multi filling station, come through, pig food, wait till it gets to the end, and then this is actually going to stop, and then just restart it. So right there it stopped, just restart it again just like that perfect and then <clears throat> unamas one more time and we're also gonna have to do this with uh straw as well which is a good thing i guess so wait until this gets to the very end and then we'll just punch the button one more time there we go cool so now all we got to do is oh hang on uh this is grain um, and let's take a look here. Let's get a little close and see what it's filling up. That's well, filling up food. You know, I don't, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Gotta be honest with you. Guess we'll figure it out. So it seems like it took about 40 grand to feed the pigs and they barely even needed it. <clears throat> so... As you can see, I think we've got straw coming out right there. Um, 
So I'm definitely gonna have to, yeah, stroll not accepted here. So what I'm gonna have to do, I think, is take this. We've got our engine. We need to force some... This is gonna be fun. This may have not been the best way to do this. Just gonna say that out loud uh, to myself here because if we go in, we can see we've got two pigs that are full of straw. And then we've got two pigs that are full of food, actually. Yeah. So, uh, something I've done somewhere not really working. On top of that, uh, chickens. Oh, yeah. And it still makes a noise as well, which is very interesting. The chickens, I can't even get this to work. I feel like, I feel like a fool. Uh, let's see. So, start filling, but, you know, it's... A little bit happening. Please start the engine first. Cool. Well, I do that, but nothing happens. So it didn't work like the other one. Just to see if anything happens, I'm going to delete this one real quick. Ooh, our dude is, is in overalls. We may want to get that done. All right, so we'll sell this. Yes, it's been sold. Cool. I'm going to go over here to containers. I'm going to find 82 Studios multi-fill station. We're going to take this and put it in just the uh, right spot, right there, just like that. $2,500 bucks down the drain. We're going to take this, see if this does anything for us. I'm going to see if I can back up, move it around a little bit, maybe back it out of the uh, marker, and then bring it back in to the marker. So about right there. Wheat. Okay, so it looks like... The multi-fill station works, but I'm not sure... Oh, it only costs 303 bucks for that. What about this? What if we move this out of the station? So we remove the mark to fill, and then we bring it back to start filling. Yeah, it's just not working. Okay, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is get rid of these, because I did cheat in the wheat to begin with. So we don't need that anymore. So demolish, and we're just going to go through... And demolish all of these. So it's not going to do us any good. Oh, it's actually giving us a harvest income. So, hey, at least we can make a little bit of cash back. So that's nice. So, was that 28 grand? Yeah, 28 grand for each one. Not bad, but we will end up using that overall. So, I'm going to go back through. We're going to place down a bunch of these buying stations right here so that we can actually get some food for our chickens eventually, which will be very very nice. So the fun part between that intro video that you guys just watched and this clip right here is that they're two months and 16 days apart. I'm not kidding. Um, yeah, so Comston Farm came out, as you may know, and I dropped this series like it was on fire. And then I started playing Comston and we did 30 episodes of Comston Farm, but guess what? We are back. If you guys are watching this in the future, that video was recorded on January the 12th. What you guys are watching right here is being recorded on March 28th. Oh my goodness. All right. One thing that I've got to do is figure out a, what do we have? Where are we? And, and man, what's going on right now? I've turned seasons off. Seasons visuals are still there, but I could do magic in the background. So I don't need seasons turned on anymore. What I do need to do is empty all these pallets. I need to drop them all. So I'm going to take the straps off and I'm going to try to, oh boy, uh, let's see, unfold. Oh boy, I don't, man, I don't, I don't know how to unload this thing. There we go, okay. Now I need to reload them all because they were on here just, just awful. If you unload your pallets, especially if they're not for whatever reason, sitting on here properly all you got to do is just go through and reload them again boop just like that now everything is nice orderly and pretty speaking of orderly and pretty i think if i looked correctly through here we've got some setups around here somewhere where i've got all the eggs and the wool kind of pushed towards the front so i'm gonna do a little bit of a run back and forth between here and hopefully be able to pick all of this up Boop, boop. Got them. I don't even know where they went. 
Anyway, so welcome back. I hope that you haven't missed this series too much. It has missed you, if that's any consolation. I've had a lot of fun not recording on here, I guess is the best way to put it. And I kind of forgotten how wild and crazy we truly went. This is a little bit overboard, and I understand why you guys wanted to come back. Because it's just ridiculous. The amount of work and the amount of stuff that we put in here uh, is truly remarkable. And it's a little bit insane. There we go. All right. I don't know if that's all the pallets that we need to get or not. I mean, we I may even have to go back through here and find out where pallets used to be. As a matter of fact, I think we've got strawberries on here. If I remember correctly, right across the bridge, we've got some more strawberries. And I think there's too many of them. If I... If I saw correctly, yeah, this is too many strawberries, bro. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, I've gotten a lot better at designing since then. Yikes. So, it's funny, the amount of time that went between the very first episode of this series and this video right here is literally, oh, can I not pick that up? I can. Uh, the, the amount of time that I spent on this series versus from when I started until right now is actually longer, or shorter rather, than the time that it's been since I've actually worked on this. There's just so much going on, dude. There's so much. There's so many mods that have come out as well. I mean, a ton of stuff has come out for this game. It's just remarkable how much has happened in the amount of time that we've been away. I think this is either the last or one of the last pallets setups that we need to get. Why the trucks always go back? Oh, am I stuck? Get out of here. Oh, come on. I got it. But man, oh man, is there a bunch out here. So, as I was saying, a lot has come out and a lot has happened since this series started. And since we decided to take a break, I mean, hundreds of mods have been released. You've got the Grow Now mod, which basically removes any need for using seasons anymore. Um, we've got different factories where you can make your feed for all the animals, which uh, the way we've got it set up right now might be cool, but it really doesn't, oh no! It really doesn't work. So there's a lot that we could change up, a lot that we could do to make things work a little bit better. I don't know, we, we may try and do something. Also, the amount of lag that we get looking towards all these animal pens is just incredible. I spent a lot of time on it, so I don't wanna, oh, there's more, great. Um, I spent a lot of time on it, so I don't wanna ruin it, but yeah, it's, man, there's a lot, a lot to do, a lot to do. So let's figure out where we need to deliver all these, cause I haven't really thought about that part. And if you've thought about that part, well, thank you, because I forgot. Uh, let's see, bread. Hey, bread's a thing that we need, and we have bread on here already. Nice, nice, nice. Maybe if we drive around to some of these areas, <laughs> find out what they need and what they don't need, maybe it'll deliver a few things. I don't see anything going down. Now, let's drive over this grate right here and just see what delivers. Anything? Bueller? Do you want any of this? I think the answer is no there. The answer is no. All right. What do we have on here? We have strawberries. We got some bread, eggs, and oils. Okay. Well, let's go here and figure out where we're going to be going. Oh, yeah. I forgot that basically everything goes over here. Now, I should try not to get stuck in this ground because I do have some advanced uh, stuff happening to you. Well, that's... Yep. Yep. I'm slamming on the brakes. That ain't even working. I forgot that over here, the grocery mart, I think this is the Johnson's Grocery, if I remember correctly. We'll zoom in real fast just so I know. No, that's Grocer E Mart. Where's the Johnson's Fast Food Place or whatever it is? Yeah, Johnson's Farmer's Market, Tag Place. Please don't be up top. Ah, crap, it's up there, isn't it? So that's pretty much the best place to sell everything right now. And this thing is going to make me go up there. I don't even remember my way around this map anymore, man. I need help. I told you, I need help. This just happened. I didn't even do it on purpose. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Toggle super strength. Can we at least flip this back the right way? Let it go. Back up, back up, back up. Yeah. All right, yeah. 
All right, let's continue on our journey of just absolute carnage uh, from Grocer I Mart. Grocery? Grocer Y? Grocery. You could probably just say like a normal person, but I don't want to. All right, so what do we got on here? 17,000 liters of strawberries. That's too many. 10,000 liters of bread. 47,000 liters of eggs. That's also too many. 9,000 liters of sunflower and 3,000 liters of canola oil. Should be getting us a pretty good profit. And that's a good thing because I've noticed what work that I wrote down on my planning calendar for doing this. If you guys don't know, I write everything down in Google uh, Documents. It lets me know what I need to do and when I need to do it and that type of thing. There's also a mod that just came out for PC with that as well. But I decided to do it this way. Well, this is telling me that I needed to collect pallets first. Cool. It also told me I need to plant wheat, canola, and oats today, which is a lot of fun. But it's also telling me to roll my fields. That's not going to happen. Uh, I don't really roll my fields anymore. It takes too long. Um, and it's also telling me to fertilize fields? Yeah, it's got a question mark on it. I don't know why. But uh, that tells me we need to make sure that things are fertilized. We need to go through and plant those things. And then we need to fertilize again. Yeah. Hey, and we're already here. One thing I've also learned after... No, oh boy. Uh, one thing I've learned after not doing this map for very long. Don't go in the first entrance. Go in the second entrance. Way easier. It's so much easier. And we should be able to sell everything here. Oh, boy. That was some great lag there going on. Oh. So this is fun. Uh, I'm not making any money. What have I done? I know these are the old game pallets. Huh. I need help. All right. So I know that eggs, Johnson's Farmer's Market right here, eggs. I know this is good, right? So here's a pallet of eggs. It just doesn't sell. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Why? What have I what have I done to deserve this? Uh you know, I could probably tell you one reason, but I don't know if you're gonna like it. Uh, so this map is a custom version of the map that I have made. This is not a version of the map that Giants have done. Uh, I went in, made a few modifications, changed a few things, and since then, the game has actually received quite a few updates. And my assumption is that either pallets or sell points, either way, uh, have completely changed the way that they work since those changes have been made. Now, I could go through and maybe make a few adjustments, as it were. Um, but I've got a funny feeling that this just ain't gonna work. <laughs> I may try a few things real quick, uh, just to see, maybe put down some sell points and see if that's gonna work. Oh, we are gonna crash. Please stop, please stop, thank you. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to put down a few placeable sell points up here and just see if we can make this happen. Oof, I really should have finished this series when I had the chance. Oh, no. All right, let's find ourselves some nice little happy placeables here. We'll go into productions and selling points and and maybe find a couple of these. Let's see. What do we got there? That's a fast food restaurant. Nice, nice. I, we could sell quite a few different things through there. Supermarket, not terrible. Restaurant again. Okay, so that you know we could we could sell some good stuff. Let's uh maybe start with the farmers market. How's about that? Farmers markets are always nice, aren't they? Yeah, especially this time of year, they are not bad. Maybe we'll put you know what? Let's start a new setup. Oh, you know I'm gonna put it right here, smack dab in the middle. That's what I'm gonna do. We'll put that there. Where's my semi truck at? Here it is. So I think this farmers market will take most of what we're selling or we're trying to sell anyway. This is gonna be a pretty short uh, series right here if we don't get everything sold that needs to happen. All right, so this worked. Putting down new sell points. 
this was the way to go. And that money is going up, which means that the series is saved. Yes. We're just going to have to put down more. Great. Look how I love, I love how the sellingness of everything does, man. It just takes a little bit from each pallet and just starts pulling it away. Pull it away. This is so cool. That is really, really cool. Oh, the eggs on the back have not sold yet. Actually, nothing in that pallet section is sold. Pull forward, pull forward. Yeah. And we'll zoom in on it real quick. And then we'll be done. Sorry, probably could have just quit this the video right there. But it's way too cool to watch this little setup right here. And the pallets disappear. $252,000 for that sell right there not terrible man not bad at all that's pretty good indeed that is pretty darn good another thing i'm gonna do real quick is i gotta go in here and find out what we've got of what so it looks like all this stuff we're done with soybeans we do have some soybeans but it's not july it's march so that's not gonna work for us we do have some milk but again that's gonna be a while uh straw and grass well we're not gonna be selling any of that slurry uh, well, we could sell some of that. We do have the BGA on here, but uh, yeah, from there, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, this is real laggy over here at the animal, so let's get out of the animal area and let's make our way into planting. You know, it'd be a lot of fun if I'd quit losing my equipment. Do I have a plant? <laughs> yeah, I got a cedar in here. <laughs> I was looking for this stupid thing. All right, pick it up and rock and roll. And we've got perfect amount of seeds in here. Sweet. Uh, if you guys are wondering, I am using the uh, the optional fertilization mod, which basically allows you to not have to use fertilizer in the base game seeders. It also makes them direct drill, which is really, really nice. <clears throat> and one of the great things is the fast farm mod has come out since we did this series, so I don't even have to do crazy modifications anymore to stuff. All I got to do is turn off the... Uh, the fast farm and that's it which is pretty darn cool so we're going to be heading to the big fields first and i can't cross over that way because there's water <laughs> let's go down here so they're calling for this to be wheat i guess is my my game plan so we're gonna honor that wheat it is pull down through here rock and roll also favorite tractor love it fit fit and 900 yeah the fit 900 Black Beauty Edition. Absolutely gorgeous tractor. I don't remember where I started with this normally. Ooh, definitely going to have to turn on all-wheel drive, which I think is another mod that's come out since we did this series as well. Ah, yes. The straight line. Straight through here. So we're on wheat. We're good there. Uh, let's turn on help window real quick. There we go. Fast farm has been enabled. And what I'm also going to do is we're probably going to buy another one of these cedars. We'll have two of these so I can kind of get through this maybe a little bit faster than I normally would. This isn't going to take that long, but it's still going to take a little while. So one thing, the first thing I'm going to do is run my headland right here on the very end. I'm just going to go down and back two times, drop it down, turn it on, and go. I've also double checked to make sure that this has been fertilized and it had so uh, passed me. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, you make my life super, super easy. All right. So back and forward. That should be enough. Only doing it twice to not run into the woods. We might have to we might have to change that up and do it three times just in case. Just in case. I'm not not quite sure how I want to. Oh, don't miss any. Don't miss any. There you go. So this is actually, I guess, planting for our very last harvest. Because, of course, it's going to take us a couple days to get through everything. And this is episode 28. Um, if you didn't know, my game plans are to run 30 episodes with series. You know, I think I'm going to run one more just to uh, just to make this a little bit easier on myself later on. Uh, so the idea is to run 30 episodes. I've noticed that when I get to about 20 Unless I'm really into it, like with this one, this was super easy to get to 20 episodes, or 30, even, e yeah, even though it's been too much. You know what? D don't worry about how long it's been since I did this or the, did this series. Uh, I think probably going forward, we may go with like 20, 20 episodes. That seems to be working pretty well. 
Ooh, hang on, hang on. We've got a bump alert. You guys see this bump? Go to landscaping. Go to soften. Large. And just press and hold. Not like that. That should hit it. I don't know. Let's find out. We'll have to go a little sideways here, but that'll be all right. Turn it on. Oh, yeah. Worked just fine. Sweet. So now I can hire a worker on this, and then we've got to find ourselves another tractor to do just fine. Actually, uh, yeah, I think we got a big tractor just waiting to be used. Now, this is the moment that I would say, you know what? We got the power. Let's run Borgo. But I'm saving Borgo for the next series, which is going to be a big American-styled setup. Uh, I know this is the power, at least supposedly has the power, but um, the gearing on a big fent like this, I really don't want to have to mess with that. I really don't want to. So let's go down in here, Cedars. We see that we've got this. Man, I wish that I could just click this and just buy another one. But unfortunately, that's not the way it works. Look at all these mods we've got now. I'm going to go down in here to seating options. We can find the S somewhere. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. So I've got seating options fast, which we used to use, but we don't need to do that anymore. Is this one one owned? Yes, sir. We'll go ahead and get ourselves another one of these. Perfect. That's another thing. 15 meters on here. Okay. 12 meters on this. This is the one we were using on Comsden Farm. It's a lot of fun to use that. Of course, we've got the John Deere on here as well and everything, but it doesn't plant what we want. So we're going to have to go with this. Fertilization inactive. We want to go with that. We want to go BKT because BKT tires are boss and KBOT sucks. We'll go ahead and buy that. Yes, yes, and yes. So all the money we made from all those pallets, that's what we need it for. Also, I would like a weight. You guys want to get a weight with me? Let's get a weight. Uh, big weight. Class. Yeah. Fent 3300. I think that might be a little bit too much for what we're doing. Uh, let's see. 1250. L let's just start here and and we'll work our way around. How about that? Uh, I just need something that's going to keep the front pushed down just enough. I know this is a big tractor. It weighs 14 tons by itself. There we go. Yeah. Did you see the front dip down just slightly there? That's all I want. Just something with a little bit extra oomph right on the front. And that's it. It's really all I want. Fill vehicle. Spot for seeds. Seeds. Good. You guys didn't see that, did you? Of course not. Enable all-wheel drive. We'll get down here, open her up, and then we'll be done. We'll be ready to go. Uh, this field shouldn't take that long. I say that. <laughs> but it's probably going to take us a hot minute. Is the guy coming back? Our dude is coming back. And he actually did a really good job hitting this little end spot as well. I'm shocked. Surprisingly. I'm very shocked. Enable all or uh, fast farm. Drop it down. Turn it on. And go. So here we're just gonna run. Hit these headlands. Probably gonna run two passes around this entire area, and then I'm just gonna hire this guy on a worker at the top, and this field will be done. So first things first, we've got a chrome four wheeler. You, we sure do, man. I love this thing. The TRA. Ooh. I put chrome on everything. Let's go. And secondly, we've got animals. Yes, we do. Now, our little baby piggies, they're hungry. And I don't understand how they've gone through so much food. I fed the pigs at the exact same time as literally all the other animals. And yet, somehow, the pigs have managed to go through pretty much all of their food entirely. And have left us with not nothing but kind of nothing. This is our feeding setup right here that we've got for the baby pigs. And <clears throat> I'm out of breath. Hang on. Sorry, I'm recording this at 5 o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep. Just like the pigs. Stupid pigs. Pig food's not accepted here. Of course it's not. I don't know why it would be accepted here. Actually, pig food being accepted here is just absolutely dumb. Because these are totally not pigs, right? Yeah, right. Um, why are you not taking the pig food? Please? Uh, let's see. We'll start filling. Oh, that's not working. Uh, let's see. Unfold the conveyor. That ain't gonna work. Maybe. 
Nope, that's not gonna work. No more spare capacity for, for pig food. Now this is where I'm a little bit confused. Because if you could see here, it says we got plenty more room for baby piggies. It does also say total effectiveness 85%. So maybe, maybe none of that's right. Maybe we're good. Maybe we're good. All right, well, we've still got stuff that we need to pick up from these animals. For example, in the pigs, you can go in here and see, we've got slurry. Now we don't have manure because we didn't put down any manure piles, but we do have slurry. Uh, if we go down into chickens, well, we took their eggs yesterday. They have nothing for us. Wool, our sheep have made plenty of wool for us to take, and we've got milk and slurry that we could take away from the cows. Again, we did not put down manure pits, so we do not have manure. So what we need to do is find something that we can get pallets from. Now, I'm not saying this works really well, but it does work pretty darn good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And it's exactly what I'm gonna use for this as well. Let's do it, baby, Yara. I do need to make sure that our trailer is set to regular Euro types. There we go. Uh, now, I've had a couple people ask me why I haven't been using some of the upcoming stuff. Uh, I'm, re yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> that's all I got, actually, that's all I got. What I should have done is come through here and made sure that all of these were kind of close-ish enough for the trailer. Boom. Ooh, don't fly. Don't fly. Come on, DJ. You know you don't want to fly. There we go. And then we should be able to pick up all four of these. Got them. All right. So we've got four different animal pens to pick up stuff through here. There's the first one. And we'll go ahead and hit the second one. Also, I don't know why the screen is laggy. It's actually... Totally fine on my end, but OBS is like, uh, nothing's fine about what you're doing right now. <laughs> Either way, we're doing good. We're doing good. We got to uh, see 6,700 liters of wool. Not too bad. And we will be taking these to the spinnery as well because the spinnery is the best place for us. And I don't know where else to take these. Uh, there's also one other problem. And I didn't want to talk about this because I'm terrified of what's going to happen, but... Boop, 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 boop. My cell points don't work. I'm using a custom version of Elm Creek, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. But the problem is, this is a custom version of Elm Creek from update 1.1 of the game, which is fine. And I wouldn't expect things to go too crazy from a update 1.1 to 1.3 let alone 1.3.1. And yet, <laughs> and yet, bad things have happened. None of my cell points are working. I can't take anything to like my normal cell points. So our productions, our spinnery, everything might be totally ruined. I'm being dramatic, but I'm actually being a little bit serious because I'm like, uh, Crap. Not to give you a little bit of whiplash or anything, but I'm also still in the middle of working on this field right here. We went through yesterday in the last episode and we've put down everything, made it look good. And we've got seed in. I've actually already had planted our canola seed uh, and I just went in and sold field 68. There was, there was no point to hang on to it. It was a dead dream. So I just let it go. Here we go. This is what we want. I remember that the spinneries that we're going to be heading to they're a little bit tight. So we're going to swap over to the base game truck, which I purchased when the game came out. And we're going to load up the fuel. Now, I don't know if all of this will fit on this trailer. And if it will, I don't know if it's going to... Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. So I think in this case, it would be don't send a uh, boys truck to a man's truck's job right there yeah uh this poor base game truck man it, it's done fine it just can't live up to the hype to to the the worksmanship sins of a tlx baby let's go this thing is stupid good hook it up <laughs> look at it says wait we're pulling something lol 
Yeah. Uh, I've gone for the complete uh, dark moon look. Completely blacked out. Yikes. Don't tell David that happened. Uh, <laughs> we've gone for a... Uh, a good looking truck is what we go for. Plus, I've got 82,000 liter tipper in the back as well. Yes, it's got the unrealistic capacity and I love it. And I didn't do it. David did it. He did it for you guys as well, actually. So this is something that's available on Alma. Why? Uh, it's something that's done on all models, which is really cool. Uh, I don't know why, but there's things sticking out of the ground back there. I had the same problem with the semi truck as well. It, uh, it just ran into some problems is what it did. All right. I don't remember my way around this map, but I vaguely remember it's a right turn right here. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm driving this worse than when I drive an F1. This is awful. So I've got two spinneries and they're both on this road. One of them is right here. You may have remembered way, way back from the very beginning of the series. We were doing stuff over here. And I don't think we've done anything over here in a while. I like that guy. He's like, uh, black truck? Nope. All right, we'll put this right here. We'll do a little bit of double checking real quick. Easy way. Did they upgrade this barn? This looks really good. I'm not even playing in 4K right now. All right, so the cotton and fabric. We've got a bunch of cotton in here, but we don't have any wool in here yet. So... I guess we could just go ahead and back that in. Should be able to just back this in. Now, whether this works or not, that's going to be a completely different story. Nice and easy. All right. So at least I know that specific cell point does work. And it works well. And that makes me really, really happy. All right. Get out of here, dear. Yo, I was at Orgzy Gamers stream a little bit earlier this morning before starting this recording. And he was talking about how funny it would be to replace the deer with kangaroos. It would be terrifying. Instead of the deer running away, they would be chasing you going, Come here! I'm gonna punch you. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do a little bit of moving and grooving real quick. We'll go ahead and drop off that trailer. I'm going to also drop off that. There we go. We got that done. And I'm going to save that location right there as being my store. One thing I want to do, let's find out from our animals. I think we've got a lot of slurry to pick up. There's 50,000 by itself, 50,000, 50,000, 50,000. There's, there's a little bit of slurry over here, 57. So we got a lot, probably 200, 400, probably close to 500,000 liters of slurry. Now, in this speci specific scenario, I would go into 82s and I would say, okay, I need a tank that holds slurry, this does. And we wanna go, oh, he does. Does he have a unrealistic capacity for this? I guess the 25,000 is an unrealistic capacity. Um, let's see, the AB tanker maybe. The AB tanker fenders, unreal capacity. So we have up to 50,000 liters there. And then I think he's got some other uh, other liquid tanks down here as well, which he does. Yep, 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 yep. So this will hold unrealistic capacity as well. Unreal, 50,000 liters, okay. Um, ooh, it's got a trailer hitch in the back. I got an idea. There's my idea. <laughs> so for $4,100, <clears throat> I have come in here and I've got the regular tanker which goes on the truck. Nice. And then all the tanks. Tee hee. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna force it to work. So there's that, I guess. We'll go ahead and back this up. This is the easiest way to hook up quite a few tanks together. We'll just put this about right about. There we go. And then we will detach from the front trailer leaving two trailers by themselves. We'll back up, get another trailer, and we'll back into this one, and then we'll open, no! Not what I wanted, not far enough, there we go. All right, so now we'll have a little tank trailer train thing going on, yeah! And also, this is something you guys could do at home if you're on console, if you're on PC. Uh, you could do this without even having to do any type of changing it up or anything like that. Now, one thing that I do wanna do, we're gonna load up real quick, 
Let's see, say race front. No. It doesn't look like there's an opening for these trailers. So I think of this specific case, I think all we have to do is just kind of pull over it and double check. Yeah, there it is. Start filling. Okay. Start overloading as well. Interesting. Okay. So uh, we're going to load up. I think all of the pigs have 50,000 liters. Let's see, we'll double check real quick. Slurry, 50-ish, 50-ish, 16-ish. So that's must be where we are right now. So we'll fill up each one of these. We'll leave whatever residual amount is left. There we go. That's the first bit. We'll go ahead and select our first trailer in the back. Ooh -hoo! Oh, no. Almost a crash counter. Uh, it's a little bit glitchy through here. Dude, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. It's fun, but it's a little bit glitchy. A little bit glitchy. Pull forward, right about there. There we go. There's step number two. Let's go ahead and double check our productions real quick, and we'll check on our BGA just to say, okay, biogas, slurry. Oh, it's got nothing. Have I sold all those bales already? I don't even remember. It was like two months ago. Either way, uh, it's ready for slurry, so we will take all of our slurry over there. We're ready to go. It looks like this trailer's almost done. Yeah, all right. Selected the third trailer. We'll do this two more times. All filled up, ready to go. 200,000 liters of slurry. And I'm able to do this because 82 Studio, who's the creator of all these mods right here, he's done something really special for the players. He's made the extension version, the unrealistic capacity option, in a way where it doesn't weigh anything. So the only thing that has any true weight to it is the piece of equipment itself, the vehicle, whatever you're using. Oh no, we're gonna get behind somebody. The, the slurry inside actually doesn't weigh anything. This is how I'm able to do some of the modded equipment that I do. And it's so easy and so simple and a lot of fun as well, man. I'll tell you what. It's a good, good time. This is not where I'm supposed to bring this, I don't think, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm pretty sure it's on the top end. All right, I'll bring this here. Yeah, that's definitely not it. I forget where I put slurry on here. Maybe this is it? Yeah, I believe this is it right here. Give me the dump trigger. Yeah, all right. So now we just dump the slurry out. And you're gonna notice that the weight of the equipment, which is down at the bottom right hand corner, you may need to be on a TV to see that, but uh, yeah, it's just gonna sit at 9.3 tons because that's how much all this equipment weighs together. It's actually pretty sweet. The 82 Studio did a good job and he hooked the players up. I don't know why I didn't then empty all of these at the same time they all fit inside the trigger. So now at least I am emptying out this one and this one and this one, yeah. Love it. Also, I mean, you gotta love the license plates as well. It's just, I mean, it's appropriate, really, is what it is. It's, everyone needs to know it. And I feel like if I don't, oh, well, I'm in this tank right now. David! <laughs> I know we've been doing a lot of animals in this episode, but how's about we turn it around a little bit and we'll kind of focus back on a fertilizer spreader, at least right now, while the slurry and everything starts to unload. Uh, it is taking a little while, but it should be understood that, well, of course it's taking a little while. You had 200,000 liters of slurry. What do you expect? So that's what I'm trying to remember in my head. Yes, of course it took. it's taking a while. You had a lot of slurry. So we are going to be fertilizing our fields for the last time. Remember, tomorrow's episode, well, it's probably not going to be tomorrow, but uh, the next episode, we're just going to be coming through here and harvesting these crops. We've got that massive field of wheat, and then we've got some canola right here as well. The canola, that'll give us a nice little bonus cash money. And then, of course, we've got all of the, uh, the straw and everything from both of these crops, because I am using a mod that adds straw to canola in the game, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Unfortunately, that's a PC-only mod, uh, and I would not expect anything like that coming to consoles, which is unfortunate, but, um, PC could just kind of, or PC modders, I guess anyway, could really just do whatever they want on the fly. Release it, drop it, let it be. It is what it is, I guess. Um, as far as the rest of this, I know in the previous series that we did, Comsden Farm, uh, which unfortunately took away time from finishing this series, 
Um, but I wanted to get on that one as quickly as possible. Uh, with that one, I spent a lot of time in the last episode kind of getting stuff together and tidying up loose ends, things like that. And I've realized that I don't need to do that because I'm probably going to go back to it eventually. Uh, maybe in six months or a year or something like that, I'm probably going to go back and I'm going to want to make sure that everything is nice and, well, the way that I left it. We'll put it that way. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm not going to just sell everything. We're going to leave ourselves some stuff because even though this may be the end of, you know, series one, if you want to call it like that, God, those look good together. Uh, it's just the end of season one. If you want to think about it like that, there's always room for improvement and that time will come eventually. So we will be excited when that time does come. Uh, speaking of, let's see, looks like we've got 200,000 liters in there. So that's done. Uh, fields that we own right here. Look good. Cool, cool, cool. we got the grass field and we've got a big field over there as well. Now the grass field, we'll go ahead and jump back in here real quick and we'll take a look at that grass field on our way out. I don't think that we're going to be doing any more mowing. I think we've got plenty of grass. I think we've got plenty of everything <laughs> that we would need like that. So I don't think we're going to worry too much about that. But I will double check it just to see if it is available to be picked up. Because if it is, well, maybe one day we could jump down in here and uh, get some work done. Oh, it is not grown. This is like, I just mowed it. <laughs> There's still even some grass sitting on the ground. Yeah, uh, we won't be doing anything else with this field right here. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So let's drive over things that we shouldn't be driving over and maybe pick up some slurry from the cattle. How about that? You want to do that? Let's go do that. Now, unfortunately, with these cows, I'm not as on the up and up with where the slurry is. But I think if I can click the right button here, I think it's right here. And it is. Perfect. Oh, and it is filling up a whole lot faster than the pigs did. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. I like that. Uh, <clears throat> so it looks like we're going to be driving around. We'll go ahead and let that do its thing right now. Yeah, it's still dropping down in the slurry. Looks like it will drive all the way around. Hit that spot right there. And then we'll come over here, hit this spot particularly, and then drive around the... Cows, do I have room to get in through here? Ooh, this may not be as fun as I thought it was going to be to get all of this edited out. I don't know. Let's give it a try. We'll go ahead and select the second unit on here. Pull around. I know I did place all these trees down thinking, ah, oh, it'll be fine. I'm not going to have to drive through the trees because I was an idiot and placed these animal pens down before I'd actually done animals in the map. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm a pro now, but... I mean, we, we all know I'm the bomb.com, right? Yeah. Best animal herder in the world. Cat herder. No, wait, I'm the cat. Ah, crap. All right, the last little turning it out in here. I think I might have to go first person for this. No, first person's going to suck, and I'm not going to do well. Oh, and this thing's got a ton of power as well. If you just put your foot down, it's like, we're going. Let's go. Go, 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 go. It's, it's basically a dog's mind inside of a truck. Did I say that out loud? You know what? I said what I meant. Uh, let's go ahead and select this last tanker right here. Fill it up. And this is going to bring us to another 200,000 liters. Now, the good thing is, if we select our cattle over here, you can see we've still got some slurry left. See, we got... Oh, that's that's the one we're filling right now. Uh, 7,500 bucks looks to be the going rate right now. now. We still have milk as well, but now is not a very good time for milk. Actually, is it? We're in March right now, if I remember correctly. You know what? Now's not a bad time for milk. We may actually do that. Uh, actually, I'm looking at this going, I don't think now's a great time for slurry either. You know, it's actually not a bad time. You know what? We did good. We're doing good. Let's go get rid of the uh, slurry real quick. You know what? We're going to end today with milk. We're going to do a milk cell. You guys want to do that? That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Landed it. You may have heard of a regular dump, maybe a double dump, maybe a triple dump. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all around the world, let me introduce you to the liquid poo quad dump. Yeah. What? 
That did not sound good. It kind of made me uneasy. <laughs> Slowly back away from the liquid poo quad dump. I'm running into a fence. Let me out. For my final act today, the milk. We're not going to have to go very far. And also look at these trailers. They look like they're going wiggity 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 wiggity. <laughs> ah, that's great. That's funny. So there's red dirt coming off of this field. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> You know, it's always funny trying to hook up like road trains like this and seeing whatever the back trailer does. Because the back trailer is always the one that just kind of goes a little bit off. Just a little. See what I'm talking about? The, the front ones are like, come on, man, get it together. And the back one's like, woo! Is that ADHD? I feel like that's ADHD talking right now. Still having a good time, though, so whatever. All right. Milk. Where is it? Is it over here? Let's find out. I know we only have about 84,000 liters of milk total, so we're actually not going to be picking up that much. Yeah, there's only 21,000 liters of milk in each one, I believe. So uh, I'm also really impressed with how fast the milk runs. Yeah, right there it is. Uh, I'm really impressed with how fast the dispensing is on these base game animal pens. They could have made these a lot less cool. But you know what? They didn't. I made them pretty cool, and that's awesome. Why have I not edited these yet? Ooh, I think I know what my next project's gonna be. These should hold a thousand animals. Let's go, yeah, all right. So just a little bit more left to do here. We've only got two more animals pins left. Uh, we're rocking, this should fill up right at 50, and then we're gonna have to start refilling the second one. Oh, I don't know what that started filling up from. Uh, huh. Oh, yep. I'm about to be stuck. Uh, let's see if we get it. <laughs> there goes the deer. Again, just imagine if that deer was not a deer. What if that deer was, was a kangaroo? <laughs> There's your ADHD thought for the day. That's slurry. Oh, I was supposed to go the other way. Oh, I'm an idiot. Got it. All right. Let's do this, man. Filling up the milk right here, and we're gonna go sell it. Now I remember, oh, 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 hang on. That's the first one. We need to fill up the second trailer. There we go. It's the front and uh, front and second trailer are the only ones that I filled up from here, and that should be stopping any time, and it did. Perfect, okay. Now I said uh, we're not gonna be going very far, and we're not. We're gonna be going over here to the farmer's market that I placed down the last episode because cell points may not be working for some reason. Start overloading milk, why? Oh, it probably wants me to overload them from tank to tank. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. All right, we'll bring these over here. Hopefully we're not gonna be overloading from one tank to another, which is exactly what's going on right now. All right, I know how to fix this. Let's go ahead and detach from there. We'll pull away just enough. Please, can I sell my milk here? All right, real quick. Let's go to sell points. Milk. Farmer's market. Sells milk. Tag the place. I'm here. But it only works when you unload and Transfer from stupid thing to st Arr! I don't know what I'm doing wrong. All right, well, I don't know what's going on, but what I do know is that 84.244 times 2,143 is $180,534 and uh, 8.892 cents. So 8 I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to empty this milk out. We're gonna, quote unquote, fill each vehicle with nothing. I think, uh, oh, we got a little bit more right there. There we go. And then, man, I guess I'm gonna save my game. Wrong button. This used to be add remove money. There we go. I'm just gonna give myself some money. All right, 534. We won't even worry about the change. There we go. <clears throat> I paid myself for the milk and the milk disappeared. Technically, I have sold the milk. 
Oh boy, all right, let's move on. So today may be one of the more basic types of videos. We've got harvesting and that's really just about it. We're gonna be getting a big, big wheat field, which we're gonna re pull into here. And then we've got these canola fields to our right hand side, all of the fields from our uh, main map. And that's really it. I've already got a baler over here. We're gonna be using our Fent baler, uh, or the Fent tractor rather, with the big, big claws baler on the back. I love this thing. We've been using the Corona version of this, but figured time to use that. And we're gonna be using two different combine harvesters. Now, this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it ready. And uh, I think we should give it a little splash as soon as we come over here as well. So we'll pick up our grain head and we'll just kind of set it to the side for now, because I do want to do this. I don't want to just set a worker on these. Uh, I've got a spe specific way that I want things done. Let's give it a quick splash. How about that? <laughs> I love that button. Uh, it's called Instant Wash and you guys can download it. It is a PC only mod, so do be aware of that. You're not going to be able to get that mod on consoles because you don't have keyboard control. Uh, and to answer another question that may not be a question right now, at least, uh, no, you cannot use a mouse and keyboard on PlayStation or Xbox, any versions of them to play Farming Simulator. It's not a feature. So we've got that and we've got our larger combine harvester here as well. This one is the big vent, the ideal 10, I was going to say T, but this isn't a T. This is the 10 F P P L F P L. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I don't. I don't know what happened to that logo right there. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. It'll be all right. All right. But somehow, I need to get out of here because I can't make that turn. Come over here. That doesn't even go in. How am I gonna get it? Do I really just have to go over here? And <laughs> I do, don't I? Yep. Shows how much I remember this map, huh? <laughs> there was a much easier way out, and I totally forgot about it. Cool. So let's pull in here. I think I might have enough room right here to go and put the header on. Um, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I think we can do this. We got this. We got this. We'll go and spit this bad boy around. Put it by right there. Please unhook. There we go. All right. Okay. So we've got a big wheat field here. This is going to be pretty standard, pretty basic. Just, you know, hitting my header as per. Really? Come on. <laughs> this is like Peter Griffin poking like something and say, come on, do math. All right, got it. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and open up everybody. Let's make sure that we've got our straw swath enabled, which was not. We've got it enabled now. Speaking of straw swath, we also have a straw swath that we're going to be able to use on our uh, canola. So that's going to be really, really nice. Boop. And this is going to be normal. Two headlands, I'm gonna run them all with this one single combine harvester. As a matter of fact, the game plan is to run this entire field with just one harvester. I think we could do it. It's, I mean, it's not gonna be a short amount of time, but it is gonna get done and we're gonna be able to bail at the same time. So that's gonna be nice. So things that we need to do, we need to go ahead and check, make sure everything is good. We need to enable fast farming because of course we do. There we go. All right, ready? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Let's turn it on and go. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and hire a worker here. I want this to be as straight as possible, at least on this very end to get two headlands and then we'll bail everything up. Nice and neat, looking good. Getting up to speed as well, getting near the end and fire worker. And of course it went off the field, you idiot. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be hiring these idiots after all. <laughs> all right, so that's one little bit. We'll be doing another one of those when we come back. Here's where I get to have a little bit of fun myself. Ooh, check out the HDR, it's looking pretty good. That's another thing I need to figure out how to do is actually edit these videos in HDR. You can't just record what is HDR on a screen and it be it because it just doesn't look right when you're trying to edit. Oh, oh well, it is fine, it'll be okay. You guys watch an HDR? Or you just watch on like phones and stuff like that. Most people think just watch on phones. All right, I'm talking to myself. It's super early in the morning. So let's get to work. These headlands are not gonna do themselves. And our first headland is completed. There we go. We got this idiot that really can't break. Tell you what, those class combines that I was using over on Comston Farm 
had really good brakes. Not so much here. Not so much at all. <laughs> you know, nonetheless, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. Uh, there is one section up at the top that we might need to pay a little bit extra attention to. This header, for whatever reason, did not hit it. I had also missed a couple little spots down here as well. I'm starting to think that maybe it's just because this is a very rigid header. It does not have any flex to it. Really, the only header out there that has flex to it is the one that Custom Monning just released with their 250 series. Uh, we'll we'll kind of get into it and we'll show you what I mean. Up by the trees on the top left, top center of your screen. That's where it is. Coming up on it now, and you could tell up here all these little spots. It just wasn't quite flat enough or the area just wasn't prepared well enough but you had these little bunk spots that just did not get the memo so i'm gonna have to go back through there maybe with this harvester maybe with something else and actually get those myself i mean it, it's doable it's totally fine it's just a little bit annoying you don't really want to have to go through and do stuff like that slightly annoying only slightly I don't remember having problems like that in previous games, so I do think that this is something that is brand new for Farming Simulator 22. I have had this problem on Comston Farm as well, and yes, it was as annoying there as it is here. But at least there's that, I guess. <laughs> Nonetheless, all right. So we're gonna finish up our headlands here. You can see before I did go through and do a little bit around on our natural area right here. That was way back in the first series, series episodes one through 10. Oh man, that was crazy because I came through, did everything, modified the map, yada, yada, yada. And then Giants came out with a, an update and I took the map and swapped it <clears throat> with a modified version of the map. And, and then it just redid itself. I3Ds are a real thing, guys. You should totally respect them. Hey, would you look at this? We are... <laughs> Getting close to filling this thing up. We're at 85% already, and we have just finished our two headlands. That is awesome. That's pretty sweet, actually. So down here at the end, I'm going to go ahead and fire this guy off of a worker. Go ahead and open that up, and we'll jump out and get this. Now, one of the cool things that David has done is both the front tipper and the rear trailer will both hold 82,000 liters, which is pretty cool. And... They don't have a weight to them, so they can fill up as they're going to here. And you can see down at the bottom right -hand corner, maybe if you're watching on a big TV or something, uh, the little numbers, they don't increase. It is just staying at 7.5 tons because well, the weight isn't actually a real thing. It's kind of cool. We'll go and fill this up as well. There won't be too much. Yeah, there we go. And then with this, we can either cart with this if we want to, or we can go ahead and take this up to the green mill and take care of it there. We've got options, yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and cut everything off. We'll pull the pipe back in, and then I'm just gonna hire him on a worker going this way, and we get to start making bales. Ah, uh, JK, uh, we're gonna let the we're gonna let the combine harvester do his thing because it'll probably be much easier to do some baling work once all of that is done. So let's invest our time a little bit in canola now we should be able to get all this we'll go ahead and enable straw sloth because i do have the canola to straw add-on turned on we'll go and turn on all-wheel drive and we'll enable fast farming that way we can really get to it now with this crop specifically in these fields i don't hire a worker i just do it myself it's a whole lot easier to do this myself than it is to actually come through and try and hire a worker because well of things like that <laughs> I'll also be bailing this up as well, and we're gonna be doing big, big square bales, which is pretty cool. Uh, in my Comston series, I also did not run a, um, um, oh goodness, what do you call it? Uh, I did not run crop destruction because, well, I'm an idiot most of the time, so I was trying to prepare, uh, protect myself. But with here, we are running crop destruction, so I do need to be slightly careful about how everything goes. And across the line, there we go, sweet. So this is not gonna take long, it's just harvesting canola, but it is a lot of fun. And I will also tell you this, I kinda missed how other wheels look. 
I didn't think I would say that out loud, but I think we've got some, uh, yeah, some ride stand tires on here. We've got some interesting tires on the rest of everything that we've got around here as well. A lot of stuff has BKT tires because I was in love with them when Farming Simulator 22 first came out. So there's a lot of different looks here to everything than, than I've been used to because I used all Trailborg tires and uh, I think maybe one or two Vridestein tires over on my Comstant series, which was fun, but everything looked the same. It looked the same as previous games, just better graphics. Here, <clears throat> these new tires are looking good. Also, I, I've got a little bit of a runny nose this morning, so I'm gonna clear my throat a lot. <sighs> it's a fun morning, gotta love that. Real quick, I am gonna try and go ahead and hit this because he has gone down and back and down and now he's coming back again. So he should have a good amount of wheat for me. Let's just find out and see how much we get here. Hopefully we get down to the end before a big pile of wheat just kind of goes right onto the ground. Oh yeah, he's got a, quite a bit on there. And I'm going to make him put his straw everywhere. Oh, this is having a hard time keeping up with this. Right there. And he's just going to make a big pile. Yep, he did. Oh, he's empty. Sweet. All right, so we got 76% in here right now. I'm going to go ahead and take this up to the grain mill. Let's double check. You see, we got a little bit done down here, and well, quite a bit is getting done there. Let's head to our productions. Let's find our grain mill, wherever that would be. Here we go. And it is empty. Is that the only grain mill we have? We do have another one, but it's pretty... Uh, pretty much doing its thing right now. Actually, I don't know which grain mill that is. I have two of them. Oh man, I can't click on them either. Hang on just a second. I think I know exactly how we're gonna do this. First off, let's go down in here. I think one of these is the grain mill. That's the oil mill. That's the grain mill. Let's go ahead and visit it. And you can see in the storage, 202,000 liters down in there. So this, is not the one we want to take it to. This is the grain mill that we want to go to. Yes, sir. We'll come around here. I don't know if I could do a double dump with this or not, but I'm going to certainly try. There's one. There's two. Oh, we got the double dump, baby. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. That's really cool. Uh, also, we'll say, um, before it wasn't reading, uh, like it was full however it, you may have just seen right there we're showing like 13.5 tons and now it's back down to 7.5 but it, i think it was only with the rear trailer i'm not sure what was going on with that i think maybe to a certain point yeah because the truck is driving way better right now as well uh regardless either way uh we do have some wheat right there and that's going to be sending some beautiful beautiful flour over to the bakery. Yeah! Literally, I've just made it back over here to the field and look how much work this guy has done. He hasn't even been doing it that long, but with that big header on there and going fast, it's booking it, baby. There's really not a whole lot left. I am a bit worried about it getting back to the other end and then trying to get turned around because a lot of harvesters and a lot of other pieces of equipment as well when they get to that other end, they do not want to turn around. It's sad, but it's true. Got to turn around. All right. Speaking of turning around, I'm going to turn around right here. I'm going to wait for this harvester to get around. And then we're going to go and get them emptied out. Head back over to our canola fields. And back over to my baby, the combine harvester that has been with us since quite literally the beginning of the series. We started with this. This was a starting harvester. And we have gone through it. Actually, I think at the beginning I started off with the Doys Far, but quickly changed it over to this. I, I do think I went through a couple different ones, but this, this is the one that stood the test. Uh, it doesn't really have a lot of hours on it either, only 4.5, which isn't a whole lot in terms of hours. We had over 10 or 12 or something like that on one of the harvesters from the last series. Oh, oh forgot, we got one more field over here on the left. <clears throat> And I think the other one had like five, six, something like that. Yeah. So this, this is not a lot in the grand scheme of things. But also, these fields are not very big in the grand scheme of things either. But the European map does have bigger fields. This one has big fields. They're just a little bit more spread out than you would think. Where the European map has got more bigger fields overall. So, eh, 
you can choose whatever you like through there. It's it's all good. The game's but nah, it's a crash counter. Uh, the game's been out for a couple months at this point, so you'd probably be good with whatever you want to do. All right, so what do we need to do? We need to finish harvesting this field, and then we need to go ahead and finish harvesting the other fields that we've got right over the tree line. So these two fields are always fun. It's like, which which one do I harvest and, and how? How do I do this? I think the, the way that I normally did it was I started at the other end, which I did have to come this way. I couldn't go down the road for some reason. There just wasn't enough room for me. <laughs> so I guess that's a thing. Uh, if I remember correctly, I would uh, treat this as one big field, even though there's, oh goodness, even though there's a road right in the middle of it. Boop. And go. Yeah, I think this is the way I did it. If I remember correctly, this is the way I fertilize anyway. Cool. So we've got a little bit more to go here. I'm starting to realize that maybe, just maybe with the amount of crops that I've been used to getting off of singular fields, uh, well, even these five fields total together, probably not worth it <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. For small time, maybe old school farming, absolutely, it'll be just fine. But not, not the way that I normally do things. It's not really... It's a little bit small on the... Yeah, you know what I mean. Decided to pop over and check in on our Fent 10, whatever that those letters are. What? What is that? What does it say down the bottom? It says 10T. That's not what that is. <laughs> I think maybe it, it took some letters from somewhere that it wasn't around. Anyway, uh, we're going to empty it out. Welcome. <laughs> I do know that... Uh, that they did add a couple extra new combine harvesters uh, since I've been playing this with a free update and on the back one, put it on the front. Erg. Uh, anyway, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. ADHD is pretty rough this morning, guys. I think not gonna lie. All right, so that's full. We'll pull forward, and there we go. We'll get the rest of it put into here. Still not a whole lot, not a ton, but it's going to be plenty enough, at least for us to put into the uh, grain mill. Oh, we're done. Uh, put into the grain mill and save for a later date. So we're 62%. I've got a sneaky suspicion. It could probably do almost the rest of this without needing to be unloaded. So I'm not even going to worry about it at this point. Get a little jump. Yeah. Put this over here and jump right back into our John Deere. And we're back at it, man. Harvesting baby, harvesting baby, but this is only step one. We also have to come through and bail all of this, which is going to take a while, number one, and be a lot of fun, number two. Well, I just popped in and noticed that idiot number one right here has uh, not done anything. Uh, it literally got to the end and then coo hoo 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 it. So what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to turn off straw swap because I don't want to deal with it while I'm trying to clean a few things up here. So we got that, and then I'm just gonna, I guess, go vertically with this and try to hit these. Actually, you know what? Let's enable that straw swap. I think we could do this. Come up through here. Yeah, go, 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 go. And then we'll just kind of deposit all the straw right in the middle of where the straw swap would have been anyway. That will work for me. And then we'll come around here and do it again. Sometimes you gotta do this. There are spots where the game's just like, <laughs> I'm not getting that. <laughs> Somebody will be, but I'm not. So, uh, yeah, I've gotten myself in, or myself in one of those little pickles. And then we'll just drop it right there. Nice. It's not a whole lot of it, but if you're like me and you do collect the straw and you do want to make sure that you've still got it, well, you're good to go. You're good to go. Cool. All right. I got two more spots to hit right here because I can't get this whole thing in one go. But there you go. So if you ever find yourself into one of these uh, positions or predicaments where you're having a hard time and the combine's just not getting or maybe your planter's not doing it or something like that, change 90 degrees. I bet you will be able to get it. Ooh. Am I going to be able to get all this in one go? Yeah. It's a big header, baby. Whoop, whoop. Now all I got to do is hire him on a worker and hope that he actually does all of this the right way. The normal way. The way he should be doing it find out and see. In the meantime, back to the John Deere yet again. Oh, I'm loving this thing. I'm loving doing, just doing this in general. Uh, big fields are a lot of fun, but I will say harvesting 
I've said it before in this series, one of my favorite things to do. What is your favorite? Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you enjoy doing most at Farming Simulator? Maybe it's caring for the animals. Maybe it's driving around smaller or bigger or classic tractors. Uh, or maybe it's fertilizing. Hey, that could be, could be. Uh, we've got some pretty cool fertilizers out there. I would understand completely. Or possibly it's farm building, like we've done here. We built our entire own farm, uh, which I do plan on bringing that back and doing that again in the next series. So uh, heads up there, farm builds coming back. Let's go. All right, so as far as this, I think we're pretty good right now. I'm just gonna, gonna go back and forth on this little angle right here. And uh, man, there's really not a whole lot more to it than that, is there? Not really. All right, the John Deere is done. And it looks like the Ideal 10T has just completed their task as well. We are gonna go ahead and take over this canola to the oil mill. So we'll go ahead and empty that out into a trailer. And then we'll take a look at this guy. Did he actually finish his job? He did. How's about that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll come around just to double check because I don't believe him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See what I'm talking about right here. See what I'm talking about? This is what I got to work with. This is worse than K-Bot. No, nothing's worse than K-Bot. This is the second worst possibility. <laughs> All right. So from here. It's pretty self-explanatory, I guess, isn't it? Oh, we are not going to be able to take all of this up to the, uh, the mill. You know what? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Maybe we'll just get rid of half of this. So we're going to put this in. We're going to take this up to our grain mill. We've got the canola that needs to go to the oil mill. And then we have a lot of bells to make. So sit back, relax, and grab you another snacky snack. Because we're not done yet. I actually had a pretty good idea to do with the rest of the wheat that we've got right here. I'm just going to bring him over here. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I totally forgot. Sh shut up. I don't care about folding. Uh, I totally forgot that I had a little spot right here that we feed the chickens with. So there we go. And here we go. We are done with this this harvest. This just this little bit of harvest. Remember back in the day when I used to put DJ Goham on here? <laughs> how, how idiotic of me. It's... You, you guys know what we're doing now. All right, so let's take this up to the grain mill. Let's go ahead and get these birds out of here real quick. There we go. Yeah, just go ahead and get on out of here, birds. Got them. By the way, I think I need a new DJ Go Him uh, Get Out of Here Birds shirt. If anybody's got any ideas, let me know. I kind of like the, uh, the the one that we used to do. It just says, get out of here, birds, like a thousand times on the sheet. <laughs> I thought that was perfect. Ooh, let's get a little jump. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I can go up through there. <laughs> Those have collisions on them. Let's go this way instead. Uh, actually, let's let's just skip ahead because it is a little ways away. And for my last trick, I will make all of this disappear. <laughs> we'll go ahead and pull up. We'll kind of get this double dump thing rocking and rolling again. There we go. There's one and two. The last double dump of the bit right here. There you go. Boom. Print screen. A nice little screenshot there. Double dump. Double dump. And I think that's about it. Yep. There they go coming down. Oh, I think it's full. Hang on. <laughs> I think I got excited. Here we go. We'll double check it real quick. Yep. She's full. So we are going to have to figure out what to do with the rest of this wheat. I think I've got an idea. We're going to put it in the silo that I never use. We've got one over here. I think this is the one that Trucker Matsy sent over to me. And I'm not saying I hadn't used it, but I hadn't used it in a hot minute. That's for sure. <laughs> so this should be good. There we go. We'll dump that in there. We'll go ahead and get this back part dumped in there as well. And Trucker Matsy should be very pleased with us. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect hey where did that building go oh that was the tmr mixing place and i've started deleting buildings out of my mod hub forgot about that all right so we do not need this specific truck anymore but what we do need is this big bad boy right here yeah oh i'm ready i am ready let's go ahead and get this baler unfolded because we are about to have a little bit of fun with bailing 
Now, this is going to take a little bit of time. <laughs> so there is that. Uh, let's double check, make sure that we are on 240 centimeter bells. We want those big, big bells. Let's go ahead and enable fast farming. Let's go ahead and turn on all wheel drive just so we can kind of get up and get moving and rock and roll. I got to do literally this whole field, all of it, every bit. Uh, I'm probably going to leave spots if it misses some, because I just don't care. But it's go time, baby. Go, 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 go. How many bells do you think I'm going to get off of this one field? Just curious. Go ahead and make your guesses now, because I'm going to do it all and then come back. What do you think? What are your guesses? One more run to go. Here we go. Let's pick this up. You can see how many bells we've got. There is a little bit of straw here and there left. Man, I really don't want to have to go back through and pick it all up. So, there's that. We'll go ahead and drop these two bells right here. Boop. How many bells do we have? Let's check it out. 145. I've made a total of 677 bells on this map so far. But, here's the thing. That's not all. Because I've also got a tractor that's over. But... One of the great things about this baler is it's got wings. So it just flips everything back over. We got this. Yes. We have an entire set the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. All right. I'm going to go through here. I think I could probably hit two runs at the same time. And I can. Uh, we got all these bills uh, to bank as well. I think when I get down here to the end, this might be a little bit more difficult to hit. I don't know. I think I got this. Got to slow down a little bit. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nice and easy. Come on, DJ. Don't miss none. Oh, oh, we got it. Of course, I missed that a little bit right there. Naturally. This is the great thing about using smaller combine harvesters. You get to pick up a little bit more. But also, it's got 7 meter header as opposed to a 13.8. So how much am I really missing here? <laughs> am I saving myself time? Not really. Not at all, man. Not at all. So that's, uh, yeah, this, this is not, ah, uh, yeah, you can see that's what I was talking about, about missing stuff. It's just, there's no way around it. Not with this baler. For some reason, it just doesn't pick everything up. I've even modified this to take in, I think it's a hundred thousand liters per second. And there's no way that it's accidentally missing a hundred thousand liters. So there's, there's something else that's going on with this baler specifically, I'm sure you guys have had the same problem at home. You know, I, I, you know, went over this pile and I thought I should have gotten everything, but I guess not. It's the Straw Harvest DLC, or pack is not even a DLC. Uh, the Straw Harvest effect, where you try and make something more realistic, but you forget that it's a video game. And I think sometimes modders forget that, guys, this it's just a fun video game. We're not trying to be ultra mega realistic here. And some things work great as video games. Some things don't. And that's where I think giants have done a really good job. Distinguishing what parts need to be realistic and what parts need to be. You know what? It's just a video game. So, ah, crap. <clears throat> I'm going to continue moving around. We'll come through here. We're going to need to raise this up a little bit. There we go. And then we've got this field right here. And we will be done. Absolutely done with all of the bailing stuff. So let's rock and roll. And that's it. That's your, that's your bailing. We got a total of 166 bales total on the map. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> all I gotta do is pick them up and figure out uh, how to get this Charlie horse out of my throat. <clears throat> Man. All right, one more job to do, and that is picking those bales up and driving through that field. Here's what we're gonna do. Because we've got some pretty massive bell trailers that have been released. They were released a few months ago. Uh, and I think they hold like 42 bells each. And you can daisy chain them. So what better way to overdo it than to really, really overdo it? Let's go ahead and reset our store. Let's go down into bell loaders. And if I remember correctly, they're somewhere near the end. Oh, there they are this thing right here. Uh, so it'll do up to 240 centimeter bells, which is perfect for us. Uh, we do need to find a neat tire. Uh, we could go with a uh, something like that, but I think BKT wide tires are probably 
the one to go with. We don't need extensions because we're really not doing anything with this. So we'll just go to standard, automatic bell loading. Yes, we do want that. A uh, coupler configuration. Uh, so you got the pin hitch and the ball hitch. But the thing is, the rear hitch is still a pin. So we want to go with the pin. Now, we've got our fent. So I think it would be wise that we pick fent colors. So let's go with the new fent green design this is going to be just little designs around it probably go with black would be good there and then of course rim color is rim color Fint. there you go and then a license plate i mean oh no please license plate there we go the console controls are terrible sometimes at the store they're really rough let's go in here okay All right. yeah there you go cool uh, so each one of these holds 42 bells. We've got 166. I don't know what the math is, but there's 42, there's 84, there's 126, and one more. That should be 168, I think. And the key word is there, I think, because I have no idea if this is going to work. Because obviously, this is one of my stupid ideas to get every single bill that I possibly made onto one trailer. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> uh, actually, can I straighten up the... No, I can't. Well, that's all right. You know what, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Because we've got Fast Run, which I need to turn off, but we've also got Super Strength. Now remember, I am in fact Superman, but it's something that we can't tell everybody, all right? We gotta be... Gotta be cool with it. Gotta be cool. Got it. Roll them around. Oh, this is... You know, sometimes things work and you know they're gonna work, and sometimes things don't work and you know they're not gonna work. I feel like I know this ain't gonna work. <laughs> All right, let's grab hold of the trailer again. Let's grab that front. front uh, actually, most bell trailers are really tough to move around like that. This is actually doing pretty cool. So there's that. Pull for one more again. And we got one more trailer to hook up. This is... This, all right, so I got, maybe this will work. I don't know. Where's our trailer at? There it is. So we need to get this close-ish. There we go. Close enough. Go ahead and turn off the uh, fast picking up stuff. Click it. Got it. Now... We need to turn on, or at least make sure that everything is in operating position. There we go. Got it. Uh, for this guy as well, we're going to go ahead and turn on all-wheel drive because I do... Ah, wrong button. I do not trust myself. And now all we got to do is drive around and pick up bales. Will this work? I don't know. I can't see everything, so at least there's that. All right. We're doing... We're doing cool. We're doing cool. Uh, I'm, I would normally in this situation try and be funny with it and try and really overdo it a little bit. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to go back and forth. And now it's going to take me a while to pick up all of this stuff. But I think it's important to know that that's kind of the point. <laughs> so uh, sit back and relax. Let's go. We're going to do our very last speedy. be honest with you this is some old school dj right here i'm having a blast picking all these bells up like this this is a lot of fun man boop boop getting them all getting them all i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get all the ones from the ah, yikes easy now uh here's another thing uh the bells on this specific trailer <clears throat> 
they weigh. Oh yeah, uh, I'm pulling 82.9 tons right now, and I'm really glad I picked this specific tractor for it because goodness gracious, it is not having fun going forwards. Oof. But I am still gonna try and get all of them. The, the train is still driving pretty well. So that's good. I'll go ahead and put on my cruise control. That way I don't have to sit there and hold down the buttons. All right. Not too bad. We got 145 uh, bells so far here. I thought we had more or less. I'm not quite sure. I don't, I don't know what I thought I knew that I thought I expected. Huh. Well, uh, there you go. Let's find a way through. Because we've got some more. That's as Wow, that's as far out as I could boom out. Yikes. All right. Here we go. We're going to take this. Get a little hop, skip, and a jump right over it. Ooh, we do have a couple bells down here. Oh, I hope that we can get these. I think this is going to be a little bit too tight to try and make this turn. But we'll find out. Please don't run over the bell. Oh, that was perfect. I'm so good at this. Yes. <laughs> the fun thing is going to be trying to find somewhere to sell all of these. And man, I can't wait to move on. Not for any other reason other than maybe getting my FPS back. Because all those animal pins are really killing me right now. Ah, we got it. But boop. Got that. There you go. And a couple over here as well. But I wanted to bring you guys along here for the last little bit of this. I did enjoy doing the time lapse, of course, but it's always fun to do something like this. There we go. We're good. Gotta be careful about steering and driving, especially when you're going through. Oh, come on. Tell me it's going to get all of those. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, uh, the fact that this is working just makes me so happy. <laughs> I apologize for the wonderful camera angles that you guys are getting because there's there's no way other than just doing it the way that I'm doing it right now. I've got to be able to see where I'm picking up these bales. And then i got to turn around real quick and I refuse, absolutely refuse to go through and try and throw the bales on the... Oh, are we almost full? Oh, boy. How many more bells do we have? Three, four, five, six, something like that? I think we can get the rest of these here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be able to get these just fine. And I am not stopping the camera. Ooh, 88 tons. It's getting heavy. Who said a Fent 9 or a uh, Fent 1000 can't, uh, can't pull 100 tons, right? Yeah. All right. About through there. Uh, that bell, hopefully, will go... Towards the back with the rest. Boop, boop, boop. Got him. Oh, there's one more. There's one more. Here it is. 165 bells out here. This would be 166. And got it. We auto-loaded every single one. And we've still got two spots left. That's what I'm talking about, man. That is what I am talking about. Let's pull forward here. I might be able to get a nice little thumbnail. Uh, maybe. Let's see here. We'll kind of go in, do the thing. Oop, nope, that was the wrong button. So you could use these. You could actually change up your... Ah, oh, come on. You could change up your uh, field, field of view set. So like a good yeah, 25. It's not, not too bad. Yeah, there you go. There's some guys that play on Facebook that play like this all the time. And it looks absolutely atrocious. Uh, you guys should know that. There we go. Thumbnail. Boom. Cut it all off. GS. And then you could just negative one it. Where are we going to sell this? I know exactly where we're going. And we actually get to drive through our animal farm one more time. And if you guys are curious, 89.8 tons is the total weight of all of this. Uh, I mean, this tractor's doing a good job. The 1050 is is kind of the way to go. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> you could probably use something bigger with more power, but it's not gonna have the same speed. So you're gonna run into that issue. Uh, and then I'm gonna run into the issue where I need to get to a road. There's a road over there, but I don't think I can make the turn. 
All right, let's get a little bump, 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 bump. <laughs> Love that. But yeah, this tractor I think is gonna be the best way to go if you guys are trying to really pull something, pull it fast. I mean, look at this. We're getting close to going full speed on a field. If we go in here to the road, we'll end up going even faster. Probably, I don't know. It's still going 34 miles an hour. Come on, CVT. There you go, 35, 35. I just hope that we don't encounter any. <laughs> hope we don't encounter anybody through here. So we're going to the South Valley Biomass, whatever it's called, down at the bottom left-hand corner of the map. I'm waiting for our uh, turn, which I think is coming up here right over the bridge. Please don't be anything. Yeah. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Love that. That's so much fun. Oh, no. We got away with that one pretty good, didn't we? All right. We're almost there, right around the corner. And then that's going to be it. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to save this game save. And we're going to uh, maybe return at a later date. Sorry, had to sneeze. We'll return at a later date and... Uh, maybe have a little bit more fun. Like I said, it's really just season one. And in season one, you got 30 episodes. So maybe uh, we'll come back at a later time to have a little bit more fun here. Um, I am also worried about this cell point not working because that's just the way things work. All right, so we'll go ahead and take this. I do need to see this, see we're in transporting. We want to unload the bales, and we'll go ahead and unload them on the trailer itself. And, of course, they don't sell. Um, maybe here? Hey! hey oh! Oi, 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 oi! So the bales are selling. <laughs> We just got to do the, we, we got to take the bells off. So I don't know if these are selling or going onto the trailer. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. All right. So at least we know. All right. So we'll come Please, can I get in this? Thank you. Uh, I think we're going to have to come back around. Uh, evidently some bells sold. Didn't know anything about that. Uh, we're going to have to come back around because I need to be in a different position when trying to unload bells there. And as a matter of fact, I'm probably going to make a little U-turn right here as well. Let's see if we can do that real fast. Let's see, we'll go over this little bump. Go ahead and make this spinning railway right here. Don't flip. Don't flip. Hey, I'm actually... Nope, 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 never mind. I was going to say, I'm about to go faster. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's a lie. All right, we'll come through here. We'll make this a wide turn just so the rear trailers will actually do well. And then I'm just going to hold this real tight right here on the left or the right side. And then we'll unload the bells into the area. Just like this. So... um. Um, you can't move the bales off of the trailer? Really? Well, that's just really, really stupid. How about we, how about we try this? I'm going to come over here. Uh, let's see. Can I select this? I can. Can we return that? I think I got to touch one of them. There we go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that works. <laughs> this is going to work great. Yeah. Not not the not really the way I wanted to do this. <laughs> but if it works, it works, right? Absolutely. All right. We'll go from here. We'll go ahead and empty the bales. We will return the vehicle and then we'll touch one of the bales like that. And then they all sell. See, it's working. It's working. You guys doubted me. I don't know why you did that. It was not a smart move on your part. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, really. <laughs> I'm messing with you guys. All right. Uh, I think I have unloaded them. <clears throat> and the bells are still there. Touch one. Drop them. And we're good. 
A 50, 50,000 liters there, or $50,000 there. Interesting. It also interests me that some of these bales are different sizes and things like that. Oh, we gotta, all right, we'll go ahead and unload the bales. Unload the bales here, come over here, and we will return that and drop the bales. Really? You had to, didn't you? And there you go. That's the <laughs> that's it for our bell sales, and that is it. We're here on Elm Creek. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today, and that's it for season three supercut from Elm Creek. I know I said at the end of the video it was like season one thirty episodes, but. Yeah, you guys know what it is. I'm having a blast with this series and all the other series that I've done and am doing as well. So you can expect to see more testing failures and just overall shenanigans, not only from this map, but a lot of other maps going forward. Doing videos like this does take a lot of time and effort and hours and hours of editing uploading and rendering and all that good stuff so if you did enjoy it make sure you drop a like get subscribed if you're new join the gohan fam make sure those notification bells are on as well that way if i release the videos like this in the future you won't miss them otherwise hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace